There we go. Ah, yep. Put this in my face. There we go. There we go. Hello there, Grandbuster. <laughs> I also see Fermi in there, who was already waiting since like 6.40. <laughs> 20 minutes early. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, let me just open up everything we need. We need this, we need that. That's rolling, that's there. We don't need any of these. This can be turned off. There we go. How much today? I I'm still kind of having the feeling that I'm slowly getting sick. It might just be the weather. Don't forget to close the porn. Oh, that's a good hint. Wait a minute. That's definitely close. <laughs> Sinjo, hello there. How are you doing? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. All right, let's roll these ads. Oh, they're already rolling. Perfect. And then we can do the intro. Now, now let's, again, let's just wait until everybody's here and everybody's ready. Huh? There we go. There we go. All right. I'm also kind of looking at the map. Or when I was looking at the map today, I was kind of surprised how much copper ore we actually have. <laughs> then again, it does make sense. You do need a lot of copper ore this mod, mod pack. All right. One more minute. Then we can go. I kind of want to go now, so let's go. <laughs> I've been playing this already all day, so let's go already. Good evening, Twitch, and welcome back to Factorio. We have been playing this map for way too long already. We are already sitting at 750 hours. However, we are getting a bit of time dilatation, not because of UPS, but because I'm actually putting some time in on the side in the map. Finally, I'm actually doing that um, to do some fixes in the background and to make things moving along a bit faster. For example, I've been busy all day. Uh, well, I've, I've, I've been running Factorio all day, but I've not really been doing that much dedicated stuff in Factorio. But I've definitely been finishing up and setting up the Renea farm over there as well as the Grot Farm. Both of these are now active and operational, and we can see that the Renea Farm over here, all of them are doing something. And we're making Reneas as fast as we can, like lightning speeds. Something in the order of Reneas, there we go. Average of 10 minutes, we are making about four per second. <laughs> Caladorn! Hey. There's tentacles infesting your mall, stealing your stuff. My pocket dimension is filling up with weird stuff here. Uh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't need these inserters. These inserters, especially the yellow ones, they're kind of shifty. They only go like into the front and into the back, and they keep on doing this motion over and over. They're not really useful for an inserter, but I mean, if, if you like to have these inserters, you can have those inserters. <laughs> Also, you can have all my iron pipe. I don't need it anymore. There we go. Make one be hello there as well, Caladorn. How you doing, man? Thank you so much for your resub. 29 months already. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is the heat wave finally over up in the north? Or is it freezing over there again? Hmm. All right. All right. Also, uh, there we go. Something stuck with my teeth over there. Hmm. Definitely no heat wave anymore now. Aw, oh, dang. Good. Speaking of heat, uh, we still have to finish up the hot air machine over here. Uh, we were missing some of these regenerative heat exchangers. These are done now. I just need to have to pick them up and then have to deploy them over here. And then maybe just start off with that. Let's maybe just start off with that. Finish up the hot air making machine so that everybody can have some hot, hot air. And it'll be fine. When it's getting colder, yeah. I think that's just the reason why I'm getting a little bit of the sniffles because um, I mean my my my, uh, my bedroom window is still like open, well not fully open, but like always like on on 
uh, partially open, and it's getting kind of cold at night, and I think I'm noticing that, which is probably also the reason why I'm getting the sniffles every now and then. Good. We need 23 of these. Let's bring 25. 25 will be fine. Good. We also need some bricks to fire the whole thing up over there, and we do need some coke oven gas. We need to still set up the coke oven gas connection. We also need to do something with the biomass. The biomass will probably will be exported. Um, if we do want to export the biomass, we probably do want to have like an emergency biomass burner in there as well. So let's maybe pick up some engines and stuff like that. Next week around, we have around five degrees. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, I don't mind if it gets colder again, uh, mostly because then I have more of a reason to still not go outside and just go like, nah, it's cold outside. I'm staying home. <laughs> <laughs> Good, have some of these, have some of those. We've got a water pump. Yes, all right, what else do we need? What else do we need? And nope, you're not here. Would love to see some hot air right now. Your fingers are freezing. Oof, oof. Maybe, maybe, maybe start calculating pi on your GPU and hold your GPU in your hands. That might help. All right, all right. We're already backed up on SAP. And these are already making biomass. And biomass will be exported down here somewhere. This one over here was to be meant to be the, what's it called again? Uh, the um, coke oven gas requester, yes. And this one over there will be a sin gas or whatever requester, so we can fire up these boys over there. Uh, we still need to put some barrel machines down. We need to get some canisters with us. Here we go. Gurchi! How you doing? Gurchi wave, Gurchi wave, Gurchi wave. The Gurchi wave. <laughs> That sounds so weird somehow. I'm not quite, not quite sure why. <laughs> but Gurchi, thank you so much for the resub as well. 17 months already. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the Gucci wave? It could be the Gucci wave. Just like get that hand back out and go like, woo! <laughs> And you've been playing Starfield and uh, um, Cyberpunk 2077, and your computer has been settling using 700 to 760 watts. Is that correct? That sounds like an awful lot of watts. Check my Discord DMs. Wait, what? No, oh, wait, that's the Calador. Never mind. Um, good, 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 good. <laughs> 23 name emotes? Nah, it should be fine. I mean, it's only my text to speech is making something weird out of it. So you should be fine. You should be fine. Here we go, here we go. The GPU at 360 to 400 watts and the CPU at 300 to 340? Really? Weird. I mean, even if I'm running Baldur's Gate 3, I'm only sitting at like 100 watts and I've already got everything on the max. Now he has a 4090 bolt, that's like 500 watts. Okay, if you, but, but do you actually max out your 4090? I mean, that's, that's usually the question. I mean, um, just because it can eat 500 watts does not mean it does eat all of those. It can eat up to. Well, never mind. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good, 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 good. And stuff that eats 400 watts, which is the limitation on the card. Uh, <laughs> the best thing, ray tracing in Cyberpunk actually looks worse. Yeah, probably because they don't understand how ray tracing work. Also, I'm not quite sure if ray tracing in a game like Cyberpunk would be a good idea because you got so many light sources in there that ray tracing might just get a little bit confused by that. <laughs> I mean, ray tracing is amazing, um, especially if you don't have that many light sources. But if you have, like, lots of them, it, it could go bad. But, yeah, it should be fine. Another one seems a little below even when gaming. Now, I mean, I can, I can read how much wattage my GPU is using um, when it's running. I can even do that right now. And, I mean, my GPU can go up to 250 watts, and it's currently sitting at 80. But I guess that's the baseline power, because it's it's basically running at 25% capacity. <laughs> that is uh, GPU speed capacity. And you have a budget temp output in your small stream deck underneath your monitor, so you can always see. All right, all right, all right. How do I info plug in outputting the info? I see, I see, I see. Well, should be fine, should be fine. Nevertheless, nevertheless. All right, we are already getting distracted. How do we always get distracted while we play this game? I should maybe just like, like maybe try to build more on the side and try to, no, that, that will be horrible. That will be horrible. All right, we probably forgot something. Let's go over here. Let's start off with you. There we go. And actually, I just remembered something. Let's not take this train. Um, goodbye, train. 
already forgot what I wanted to do because we do need bricks over there. So we should probably take the brick train. And the brick train is currently out of bricks. Damn. I was kind of hoping that we could take you real quick, pick up all the bricks that you are always picking up. And then... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is that an issue? Oh, oh, that is probably the issue. Yeah, I've kind of noticed something um, while I was like looking at the map today. And one thing is our sink over here has been working exceptionally well in sinking stone. Uh, so good, in fact, that we don't have any stone field anymore. <laughs> All of our stone fields are empty. Entirely, utterly empty. There's no more stone that we are currently actively mining. Which also means we are currently no longer actively mining or processing any uh, kerogen anymore. Which also means that we're not making any heavy oil anymore or any kerosene or any light oil for whatever what we want to use for it. So... Yeah, we do need to do some outposting real quick. Now, we do have a stone field over here. A very, very nice stone field over here of, like, 3 million. Let's tap that real quick. And we got another so small stone field right over there, which we're probably going to gonna tap together by just bringing it over or something like that. Um, I think there was also another stone field close by which we could tap. There's one down here with 1.6 million, but then we will have to fight some biters again. But then again... I mean, every stream, we should at least do a little bit of outposting, a little bit of biter fighting, and then a lot of building. So, sure. And we're still going to take you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Never mind. I guess we're going to pick up some bricks first. <laughs> and hello there, Simrock. How are you doing? How am I doing today? Like I said, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting a little bit of sniffles. I do hope that I will not get like a full-blown cold for the next couple of days, but... Like, I can already feel, like, in my throat, like, and in my nose, like, already uh, the, the mucus building up and everything. And it's like, uh-oh. Oh, please, no. No, I, I don't want to turn again into a slug girl. Please. Once was enough. <laughs> good, 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 good. You got 35 FPS on that and it looks awful. Ouch. <laughs> Quick, eat an orange. Uh, I'll just drink some water. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get some, some oranges tomorrow or something like that. Oh. Do it again, do it again. Oranges only help against scurvy. It's definitely not scurvy. <laughs> all right, we are going to need all these bricks. Uh, how much do they stack? Okay, about this much. Let's help you out real quick. I have these. Okay, there we go. This is not going into science. This is going into this build over there. Scurvy was limes? Oh, really? Damn. <laughs> Narrator, it was definitely scurvy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Did Anti Get Your Sick is preparing for uh, TTS only streams? <laughs> I was actually thinking about that today. Um, I mean, um, I've, I've been like, like, like dicking around with, with ChatGPT and 11 Labs. And I was kind of thinking of maybe, I, I mean, I do have the option to use 11 Labs to make like a perfect replica of my voice. No, my bitrate is fine. Bitrate is at 7,000, 6,000, 7,000 average. Um, just to have like something as an alternative when I do have like a voice that's not usable for anything and it could just do text to speech my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> was very pixelated in that one hmm I did see it dip um, but then that's fine uh, it's probably Twitch uh, I mean I'm, I'm also looking over here at the Twitch partner discord and everybody over there is complaining about the same thing as well that sometimes streams are pixelated sometimes they are like um, a max to 160p and stuff like that uh, yeah, Twitch is being very twitchy again. Not quite sure what's going on over there, but 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 something something is wrong, definitely. But as long as it still goes, we'll just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. All right, you there? Put you in manual mode. Take this one out because we don't need you anymore. Good. Step number one: let the bots build this for us. There we go. Then the build is complete. What did you just do over there? Oh, you put down some bricks over there. Lovely bots. Uh, but that's not your job. Those bricks come last. Uh, we got some bricks in us. I'm not quite sure how many bricks we should put in here, but let's maybe go with like 10 stacks each for now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Here we go. Here we go. And then we got some more. And let's put these over there. Now, we still need to go to call upon the coke train. And we still need to set up the ash train and everything. We still need to make a biomass train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And the rest of these bricks go into the chest so that they maybe can put down the name over there. Is that name actually in range? No, it's not. I, I can already know, tell that. Um, because we have to build the um, track over there. Or not the track, but the belt over there by hand. So, yeah. Let's help you out real quick. You get one for there. Make it one for there. And then at least we can put Ground Buster on the floor. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. Then we need a station over here that orders up hot air. So let's make a new one over here. A freshly new station. Um, There we go. There we go. Oh, this is slightly confusing. One, two. We only need to top this up with hot air every now and then. So we don't need a massive, not hot air, um, coke oven gas. Uh, so we don't need the massive coke oven gas set up over here. We just need to bring over like a little bit every now and then. Good, 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 good. Let's put a storage tank over there as well. Then let's also get in one of these real quick. And then connect you over there and you over there. That'll be fine. When are we going to be opening up? Well, if this thing over here has, say, less than... Less than a thousand. <laughs> that should be enough. If this thing is about to run empty, order up more coke oven gas. Good, 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 good. Ziggurat? No, you over there. You're going to be Coke off and gas 1-1 one, one requester. There we go. Train is already coming over, even though it, there's no power over here and everything. But we can quickly fix that. All right. Good signals. Are signals in here? I think there are. There are signals in here. Good, 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 good. Now, that does mean that we maybe want to move this train real quick. So let's just drive you off my hands real quick. And let's hope we don't hit anything. There we go. Good. <coughs> also, bum, 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 bum. The main annoyance is for newer games with the lightning stuff. Both CP Red and Starfield has the thing where when you leave and enter the building, lights is overwhelming and completely unnatural. Oh, yeah, that, that feels kind of annoying. Good, good, good. I sometimes have that. Uh, I kind of noticed that when I was playing like way too much Hitman 3, that, that sometimes the lightning uh, the lighting in that game also kind of affects my eyes. And then <laughs> at some point in time, my eyes st start to tear up and, and everything. And I just sit there and go like, oh, I've been playing too much games. My eyes hurt. And then you still continue playing because, well, you're being an idiot. <laughs> All right. Let's also um, call up on the coke. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You over there. A hot bite. No, you're the Coke 2H requester. And this one for the air, we can already prepare you. You are the, what's it called again? The, not the ice, not the lost, um, not the sand, the ash. There we go. The ash 2H provider. There we go. Work was fun, had a bug, no one could reproduce, so we had to tee the control of the one machine that had the issue through voice chat, only for it to turn out that the guy did not update the device for eight months. Ah. Uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like like the thing we were talking about like on Tuesday or Monday even. Where the people that were testing, like the test I've written for them, could not do it because they didn't know how to log on via SSH to the embedded system. And it was just like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that is stuff you need to know. All right. Uh, you, over there. You, over there. So the biomass, uh, where does the biomass go out to? We could send it up north. Uh, there's a little bit more space over here than over there. Uh, we need to be over there. And you over there, you need to be over there. Good, 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 good. It's really hard to not uh, update devices nowadays, especially Apple devices. Yep. Good, 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 good. Speaking of updates, I did buy myself a new phone today. Uh, I did um, finally decide to get myself a new phone. And, well, I did pick up a Pixel 8 Pro. <laughs> it should be here, like, next week. <laughs> but I was like, all right, I need a new phone for business and everything. Yo. <laughs> new phone, who this? 
Now, the main reason is this one over here is already like six years old. And I already kind of noticed that sometimes it starts to stutter and sometimes it becomes a bit flaky. And I think it will still probably be good for like a year or two, but I don't really want to get into a situation where, how to put it, uh, your phone dies and suddenly you can't log into anything anymore because you got two-factor authentication for literally everything. So I kind of thought to myself, let's put this phone to retirement. Maybe put it like as a backup phone in there and get myself a new phone. And yeah, the Pixel 8, I've heard good stuff about it. <laughs> you just ordered the Pixel 8 Pro as well? Oof. Uh, losing access to the authenticator sucks? Yeah. You can spoil on phones to get one new every year. Now, I don't really do that. And I will probably also not get a new phone for at least like six or seven years after that. And the reason for that, and also mostly the reason why I chose to get myself a Pixel, was they, they announced that they will be supporting the Pixel 8 with seven years of updates. And that's not security patches or anything. That's like full updates, like full kernel updates and everything. And that was more or less the reason why I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get this one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea because most phones just give you like basically barely any updates for like the first two years you do get the security updates but like base updates are usually kind of like Bleh. yeah exactly Calador. they they promised seven years of support for the pixel 8 series which was the whole reason why i picked it up And about fucking time. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit annoying that, that phones always have, like, such low support durations. All right, we still need to make an translation behind this one over there. And you all believe them? Um, yes and no. But then again, I mean, you, you, have, to, you have to eat something. <laughs> you have to go down one path one way or another. Here we go, here we go. And to be perfectly honest, and that's the thing that's kind of scary, and that's also usually the reason why I always hesitated to get myself a Pixel 8 phone. I mean, usually you get, like, tons of bloatware if you, like, install, uh, or if you get the phone from any kind of other supplier, like, like Samsung has all their Samsung stuff on there, and Nokia has the Nokia stuff on there. Though I think Nokia is actually also pretty good on that term. But there's... Basically, no bloat, with the exception of, of course, all the Google stuff that's on a Pixel phone. But, yeah. Well, you have to die one bloat. <laughs> I'm still trying to use less and less Google as much as I can, but I always, for some reason, come back to it, because I've, I've been using Bing for, like, a year. I was like, okay, let's let's stop using Google, let's switch over to Bing. Well, not really Bing, but, um, what's it called to go? I'm DuckDuckGo, which is basically Bing in disguise. Uh, just to, like, use less Google, but the, the Bing search is horrendously terrible. It is so, so effing terrible. And the Google searches are just so much better. And it's, it's kind of hard to get away from that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Go around the corner. Of course, the best way would, of course, be to not use any kind of search engine, but, well... Have you tried Ecosia? What is Ecosia? Oh, God. That already looks horrible. I'm not quite sure why my search engine wants to talk to me about trees. I mean, I, I do understand that doing something good for nature is always good. Absolutely. I, I agree with that. But does my search engine have to do that as well? <laughs> I mean, I don't really care what it is. As long as the search results are good, that's fine. All right, let's give it a test then. Um, how about one thing? Um, yeah, what was the last issue? Um... What will this one give me? Oh, it, it looks very much like Google. What the hell is this? Is this just a Google remap? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
Well, I'll look into it afterwards. Based on using Google and AdWord income is used for planting trees. <laughs> So how does it help me getting rid of Google? <laughs> the whole purpose of the endeavor was to not use Google as much anymore. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, you're not using it directly, but you will still be using it indirectly. Uh, <laughs> that's the neat part. It doesn't. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. And every month or two, you'll be planning to do tree or two. Uh, I mean, we're already so tree negative over here. We've, we've cut down so many trees over here in Factorio. I mean, uh, we can't even. No, no, no. It's it's way too late for that. It's 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 way too late for that. Uh, we 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 can't just can't just switch over to a search engine that does it for us. No, 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 no. <laughs> maybe maybe if we find like a search engine that gives us like uh like a whiplash whenever we we search something, that would be motivating in searching. I mean, you will automatically use Google less. I mean, you could still combine it up with Google, and whenever you Google something or you type in something stupid, you get like one whip. <laughs> As a reminder to not use this often anymore. Yeah, that, that would definitely work. Was there also this thing with Team Trees already back when that was a thing? Their trees are kind of useless for carbon storage. <laughs> uh... There we go. If you let you any your base of trees, nah, it's, it's, it's too late for that. I mean, all these trees over here, they're technically already dead. They don't know it yet. I mean... Uh, there used to be a forest over here, and now we're making grot seeds over here. And also, grot seeds are going very good, it seems. Um, now, we do get some urea over here every now and then. And there is urea available, so grot over here is about to spin up and finalize itself. We should probably, at some point in time, start to limit how much we want to store in here, and maybe start backing up this belt a little bit earlier. So that the grot over here can start being exported into this one over there. Same is going to be true over here for the Reneas. Um, these over here are already all making Reneas. And we are very slowly backing up on Renea seeds. Now these belts over here, we do need to fill them up. And we should fill them up all the way. So that still takes some time. But I think for this one over here, we already have like an input limit. How many Renea seeds we want to store in here. And I think it's only a thousand so once we hit like a thousand Renea seeds over here in this storage, um, the input belt over here will shut off, which means this belt will back up as well, which will mean that at some point in time, things will start to go down over here. Good, 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 good. Perfect. All right. All right. You over here and you over here. Then you got some light. Good. We also still need some salt in here. Uh, the salt that we need up there, we're going to be mining over here. This salt over here, we're also going to be exporting. But first of all, we do need to... Pum, 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 pum. Where are these things? There they are. To figure out how we're going to be doing fuel over here. Mm, put you maybe over there. And then you over there. That should be fine. We can even rotate you like that. That'll be good. So that's these two done. And then we can do something similar over here. You over there. And you over there. That will be these two done. And then maybe you get one over there. And you get one over there. Are these off by one? These are off by one. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even notice. Good. And input output wise. Let's just make sure that, that this will work. So if we do it like this, it will definitely work. Uh, we're going to be only allowing canisters. Empty ones. Where are they? Pum, 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 pum. There they are. Good. Only empty canisters go out. Here we go. Put these one down. Thank you very much. We also need to hook up the barrel pumps over here with a little bit of logic so that they don't accidentally run out. If they run out, they can actually uh, block themselves, which could be a bit of an issue. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Have you heard of Gway? Google will eat itself. Uh, probably. I mean, that's also one of the issues that, that those AI systems have. Um, they basically, I mean, the more people use those AI systems, the more garbage they're going to produce, the more those AI systems are going to eat. And at some point in time, there might just be like a singularity where the whole thing just goes tits up and nobody understands anything anymore. Here we go. Here we go. 
I mean, they have already been like, not, not really reports, but already like, like, um, like, like, like studies done, if that is actually a thing or not. And tits up, you mean free pillow for you? Yes. Here we go, here we go. And not that melon board was broken today. Uh, nothing much is broken today. At least nothing yet. Unless you just pushed out some kind of update and everything broke because of that. Here we go, here we go. Uh, you go this way, you go that way, and you two go down. Good, 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 good. I mean, we're currently working on a lovely little hot air machine over here. Look at this lovely machine over here. It looks like a little processor. It actually looks a bit like a processor. Here we go, here we go. You forgot to write down what was too good? Hmm. I kind of remember we talked about something like that, but I also forgot. <laughs> Good, 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 good. We need a similar station over here. Let's just copy over real quick. Without the station name. Here we go. Here we go. And maybe put you more at the bottom. One, two. All right. All right. Does this actually line up? Close enough. Good, they're all connected. Excellent. Um, we do need to check out this tank. If this tank runs empty, these pumps... Oh, shit. <laughs> um, maybe we could just do this pump. No, that, that would be horrible. Then they will soak me because we have to prevent these machines from, from, from eating. Oh, I have to rebuild this. Here we go. So when are we playing Pi Touch by the Angel and Heart Mode? Uh, not anytime soon. I mean, first of all, we have to finish this. Once this is finished, we're going to be playing the, the, the Vanilla Factorio DLC, which will be out by then. Uh, once we're playing the Vanilla Factorio DLC, then after that, we're probably... Well, I do want to do some more Angels at some point in time, but that's at least three years into the future, and I'm not making any plans for anything three years in the future, because, uh, no. <laughs> because just no. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, we can put you over there, and we can put you over there. All right, we could have probably fixed it by just rotating some machines and moving some other machines around, but... Because we're kind of getting the same result again, which is fine. But this time around, things will definitely work. You have an air. Nope, that's a miss. That's a hit. Good, 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 good. And then you have an air and you have an air. All right, here we go again, because we do need some pumps over here. Ah, oh, it's not the pumps. It was correct the first way around already. There we go. It's the inserters that we need to hook up, not the pumps. The inserters. <laughs> well, there we go. Quick fix. <laughs> Good morning, Bolt. How you doing, Bolt? I know how to play this game. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. And then put you some over there. All right. <laughs> that we got it at the end. Uh, yeah, sometimes things can be confusing. Where is all my wire? Oh, there it is. Staring me right in the face. All right, you go to there, you go for there, you go for there. So, yeah, we need to prevent the inserters from inputting from time to time. The, the pumps, we don't care about. We don't really care about the pumps. It has to be like you and you and you and you. Also, these things are the wrong way around. There we go. Good, 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 good. I remember grenades don't need explosives. Oh, that thing, yes. The, I'm not quite sure if you can even do that. I mean, you do need grenades for military science. Well, then again, military science doesn't really go into anything. Well, so be it. Uh, all right, you over there. 
new for the year. And I guess we are going to be ordering up Sin Gas over here because why not? Boss Bravo, no. Sin Gas, one, one request, please. Okay, he's still waiting at the provider. He will probably be coming over soon, so that'll be fine. So we should maybe already, maybe just park you somewhere else. There we go. Also, is this still the brick train we kind of hijacked? I think it is. Yeah, put you over there for a second. So that the Syngas train can come in. Then these things over here will only activate if anything is larger than zero. So if that tank over there runs out, wait a minute. Yeah, that tank is technically out, then it is off. So as long as there's still some kind of liquid in the air, then we will allow these inserters to work. As soon as the liquid is off or the liquid is out, we stop doing that. And the reason for that is if there's barrels in here and only barrels in here and there's no more liquid in here, then this machine over here gets stuck. Unless they fix that. But as far as we know, that's still an issue. So we always, always want to have either barrels in here and liquids in here. And we prevent that from happening by just when, when that thing over there is out, we just stop putting in uh, canisters. Also, we're not going to have that many canisters over here. We're only going to have like a couple, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Only two. So there should always be enough that goes around. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, train has arrived. Train has arrived. Perfect. All right, all right. Put the chest down. You over there. You over there. You over there. Can we go through there? No. And you over there. Excellent. And then all of this goes into there first. Good, 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 good. All right. Out we go. Here we go. You go to there. And then you just follow. That should be fine. Let's get some loaders in there. That's a miss. <laughs> good, 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 good. And you get one more. Uh, we get one more belt from the top, it seems. Yeah, there should be enough space for you. Over we go. Over we go. Go around the power pole because we're playing nice. There we go. In you go. As for you, we go this way. We go that way. We go this way. In you go. And then we got two more down here. There we go. And let's also put you down. Something like this, something like that. Almost. And in we go. Good, 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 good. You over there and you over there. All right, all right. That is this place over here also hooked up. There we go. Good. And then we do have one output over here. Because we do need to cook some salt over here to be able to fire up those core power plants over there. Not only that, we also have that belt of biomass that needs to go down here somewhere. So let's do that belt of biomass first so that these machines over here can start working again. And that belt of biomass, how much biomass are we actually making over here? Uh, it doesn't really say. But it should be fine, I think, if we just put this on one belt. And then you go under there. I mean, if we can go around, we should go around. And then out the back and into the front. Can we just make this a little bit shorter? Not like that. Not like that. There we go. Good, 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 good. And in you go. We set this up to 16,000 because it is a stack size of 100 and a stack size of 50 is 8,000. Um, biomass. 
to a biomass provider. There we go. Not only that, we're also going to put that in a little biomass burner over here. If we somehow manage to get too much biomass in here, I'm actually not even going to think about how we design that. I'm just going to copy paste over what we did exactly over here. There's a dead tree in the way. Rip it apart, please. There we go. There we go. That should do it. Good, 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 good. Perfect. So we never run, or when the biomass like backs up and starts to overflow, we just turn into the power. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Maybe, maybe we need a second belt, but we will see. We could, of course, have turned it into ash, but I think just turning the biomass into power for now, I think, is the better choice. Good. The coke is already connected. These machines are already, already ready up and filled with coke, so that is fine. Um, one thing we still need to connect is the coke off and gas over here. And for that, we need to figure out where the input pipe is. How about us using uh, the biomass as fuel for the hot air? Oh, you mean over there for... for wait, what? As fuel for the hot air? You mean for, for like a biomass power plant to fire up the hot molten salt? I mean, we could do something like that, but to be perfectly honest, um, this thing over here is already done and ready to go. And I don't really want to change it at this moment in time. And also the amount of biomass we make over here, I think is not enough to fire up these machines. I mean, keep in mind, um, this one is designed that these over here run 24-7 or can run up to 24-7. Mm, though the biomass power plant goes one-to-one -one with the heat exchanger. That is very true. Whereas these go in a ratio of 8 to 5. So these ones are actually a bit oversized. And if you process the biomass, it could work. But then the question is how much biomass do we make over here? Let's maybe calculate for one block. Yeah, let's calculate for one block. We got 36 of these. 36 making that is about 1.9? 1.8. 1 1.8 sap per second. And sap into biomass, 1.8 sap per second. Um, that will be times 2.3. 1.8 times 2.3, that is 3.6. Let's say 4. 4 biomass per second. Uh, for biomass per second, we could turn that into... How is the ratio of biomass per second to process biomass per second? So it goes one-to-one -one into pallet biomass. And then it basically goes... Five to three into fine pallet biomass. Though we do get some back. A little bit. So, 4 divided by 5, that is... No, 5 to 3, wait a minute. 5 parts into 3 parts, uh, divided by 3. 1.3, and then multiply by 5. No, divide by 5, multiply by 3. There we go, that way around. Uh, 0 0.8 is then 2.4 fine pilot biomass. That will be then 2.4 dried pilot uh, biomass. And that would then be something like 2.4, maybe 3 megajoules of energy in this whole block which we could make. And three megajoules of energy going into a biomass power plant. Where is it, fucker? Mm. Here he is. Here he is. It would be enough to fire up one biomass power plant. <laughs> so, no, it will not work. That will not work. Good, 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 good. Doc Spano! One. One power plant. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, connect you into that. Let's maybe get rid of. Wait, is that the correct puff we need to get rid of? Yes, it is. This is the hot air output pipe. That over there is the other pipe. Now I see. Can we can we move you over by one? There you go. Good. 
4.73. No, sorry. Nah, nah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be enough. It's it's not gonna be enough. Alright, we also still need to fuck around with molten salt over here, which I'm not looking forward to. Alright, hot air over there. Let's take that out real quick, because that's not going out that pipe. Okay, that is the coke oven gas going up, but it will also come down. Because you over there, you need to connect up with you over here somewhere. Uh, also, what is this one? Okay, that one seems to be important. Is that the one important? That, that might just be a completely fringe pipe. That is a fringe pipe. Oh. Probably something we pulled through that machine that was never even meant to be there. All right, then that's the input. Can we get all the way over there? No, we cannot. All right, coke off and gas going this way. Uh, let's just cut you for a second because we don't know where you are going to go yet. And then we also got, of course, this connection over there going still further over there, which also means this pipe over there can go. You're not required. These pipes are not required. And you connect up to the other side. Not really. All right, you over there. Put you over there then. Good, 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 good. And then you connect up. Yeah, that one connects. Good. Kind of hard to see, but if we're being careful, we can get rid of these pipes, which we do not need. Which is this one, these four, and then these over there. All right, all right. I think we're already ordering up coke oven gas, so let's maybe start to connect up that pipe and see if we at least fill up the correct machines. If we do not fill up the correct machines, then we're going to have a bit of a chaos and a little bit of a mess on our hands. But we'll just fix that then. All right. So they're connected. So these tanks over here are connected together. With this pipe, this pipe goes up and connects to these two tanks. So we need to get either this input. Yeah, the coke oven gas is right down there. Perfect. So this input goes all the way down to where the coke oven gas is. Not like that. Oh, that fits kind of nice. Good. Let's have a look. Good. 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 Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on over there? Also, this tank. Yeah, has. How much? Oh, wait, we are. Oh, the machine's already working. Wait a minute. Oh, that's good. That's good. So I guess the top one over there is also fine. Probably fine. Yeah, there's like 2,000 in the air. But I guess it all went into here, and then it probably all went into this system. Uh, let's double check the connection over there just to make sure. Then again, I already see that there is coke oven gas over here. Wait a minute. If there's coke oven gas in this pipe... And there's coke oven gas in this pipe. Ah. There we go. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. All right. Now, this will not work yet. Because this one over here will, at some point in time, just stop working. As we're not reheating the coke oven gas enough. Also, it's loud as fuck in here. Why did I already start it up? What? <laughs> All right, you connect up like this. Cylindro! It over a year, bold be love, bold be love, bold be hype, bold be hype, bold be he, bold be he, bold be he, bold be he. I think bold be he is still the best one of them all. <laughs> Cylindro! Ah, shit, that doesn't work over here. No! No! We have to be deconstructed. Bold be he, bold be he, bold be he, bold be beard one. What? Bold be beard one? What is this? 
Don't, don't, don't just do both feet and pitch one over there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Cylindrail, wait. Oh, yeah, it is over here. 12 months with Prime Eve. Now, doing that with Prime takes a lot of dedication because you have to be in there like 12 months in a row, pushing those buttons, resubscribing. I mean, your Prime doesn't auto re no, uh, um, resubscribe. No, no, no. That, that's all you. That's all you that you need to do. And Cylindrail, thank you so much for the 16 months of Prime support. All right. All right. And also, Fermin, thank you so much for your resub. Good, 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 good. We could do the same thing over here. Man, let's maybe connect a view this way and this one down there, this way as well. If we can. Oh, we most likely can. Here we go. Here we go. And then somewhere over here. Good, 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 good. Corner pipe. That's not the correct corner pipe. There we go. And then the same one over here at the bottom. And then we're done with it. No, not really done. We still need to do the, the hot bolt, the salt, which I'm not looking forward to. Absolutely not looking forward to. Because messing around with hot bolt, the salt is slightly fucking annoying, to say the least. Good, 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 good. Also, in other news, um, the GTFO developers, they have announced a... What was it called? Like a content creator program or something like that? For which I have applied. I'm not quite sure what will be coming back from that yet, but I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what we will get out of that again. All right. And then this pipe over here needs to be connected. Um, I mean, technically, it, it really doesn't matter where we connect you. As long as you go in. I wonder if it's paid mod packs. <laughs> a la Skyrim. Uh, well, GDFO doesn't really do mods, technically. They're still kind of kind of on the fence about mods. Officially, there's no such thing as mod support. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're bringing some salt home. <laughs> Park you over there for a second. Let me guess. The figure's already full. That's already full. I guess we're bringing some salt out. That that train actually that is a, okay. There we go. It's in my pocket now. Uh, good, 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 good. All right. Final task over here, and we don't even have a basic oxygen furnace on us. That's a bit of trouble. But we still need to feed in molten salt over here. And the question now is, how do we do that? Mm, we could do it the following way. With like an underflow pipe over here. Here we go, here we go. Salty pockets, well, it will be a salty trash bin now. Now, I guess other bots are doing that. Yeah, other bots are doing that. Good, 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 good. At least now we have, like, a continuous pipeline over here with... What's it called again? Um, with molten salt available. Which we can copy-paste over here. And which we can copy-paste over here. Which we cannot copy-paste over here because there is something in the way. But maybe we can copy-paste over here. Yep, okay, so what's in the way over here? Oh. Oh, that's okay, I see. Just don't do this. Good, 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 good. Perfect. All right, all right. And then we just need to hook into that. We need to combine these two together. And then we just start pushing into that, and that should be fine. Though, we do need some basic oxygen furnaces for that. We can just steal some from over here. Uh, like these two. There we go. And I think two will be enough. So let's place you over there. They're just going to be sitting over there. We, we don't have them with us right now, so we have to come back one more time to bring them over. There we go. There we go. And then you just split off this way. Go around. Almost go around. Go around. There we go. Go in. 
Up you go, up you go, out you flow. In, 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 in. Use the salty trash to feed it. Um, yeah, we could do that as well. I mean, we don't really need to bring it back to the mall, but we could just do something like this real quick. There we go. And then input priority, this one. Stop this, do that. Have this. Do that again. Good. Off it goes. Then molten salt, one pipe, two pipe. Connect them together. And then we just need some kind of connection. Not here. Here could be fine. Ooh, very close. All right, that's the bottom row connected, and we still have to connect to the top row as well. But we also need to connect you with some coke, as well as you with some uh, with an ash output. Now we already got this coke over here available, which also means we should probably also use this coke over here to refuel our trains. It's going to be the same belt. Uh, we don't really care too much about this. It's just going to go like past over here. Here we go. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the follow, mate. Here we go. It will go over here like this. And then we go to the other side. There's like a 1-1 one, one train over here, which we need to fill up with some fuel. Here we have some fuel. And then this over there, this is going to be a bit of a bigger train. So we do have a bit of a spaghetti move over there. Here we go. Here we go. And then we go this way, that way. This one over here is going to be a 1-2 train. So we're going to fill you up as well. Here we go, here we go. And then we also have to figure out where the ash belt will be. <laughs> Fuel for you. Perfect. And then we go this way. Go over. Go a little bit further over. And then all the way over there. And then fuel over there. Fuel over there. Give him some power. Don't really care about that too much. Put him over here. Train filling up again. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> no. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you know what? You're done. Here, yeah, you go back to your provider. Scram. Skedaddle. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and then just to make sure that we can... Yeah, just like this. Just something like that. And also go all the way over here to the biomass train, where we will fill you up as well. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. And then while we're at it, we also need some ash outpost. Uh, outpost. <laughs> output. Because, of course, every coke that's being burnt over here makes a bit of ash. We also should maybe get some fuel over there. So let's just be very, very simple about this. Here we go. This one really does not need to be any kind of beautiful. This one can just be as horrible as it needs to be. And it's very horrible indeed. There we go. Here we go. Get ourselves some ash. Pom, pom, pom. Uh, here. There. In you go. Perfect. That's going ash into there. Um, looking at this, wait a minute. We can go like this, we can go like that. In you go. Then we need the ash from this train over there. There we go. Oh, this, this. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. Also, you're going the wrong way. Wait a minute. Uh... Here we go. Now it's correct. Um. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You go this way. More of these. One over there. One over there. Push, push, push. Uh, I like handling all the ash in pie. Yeah. I, I can get why some people really don't like... Oi. <laughs> why some people really don't like that. Here we go. Um... And then we go this way. Can we just do this underground over here from all the way over there? Here we go. Profi Spieler, hello there. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Good. And then down over there. More ash. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that doesn't work like this. Uh, now it does. There we go. This is only a single one. So we put you over there. And we also have to do the ash over here. Perfect. Ash. Ash. Bish. Bosh. And finally, all the way over here. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, as long as it works, that's fine. How are you doing yourself? I myself are quite good because we have school holidays. Ah, perfect. Wait, school holidays already? Again? Uh, I'm not that up to date with, with school holidays and how the school curriculum goes. Also, it seems we have never limited you over there. Nope. Good. Which also means that you need to go to the provider. There we go. But I'm doing fine because I got a week of vacation as well. And since I'm on vacation, I've been chilling quite a bit. I've been working on some stupid projects on the side. Yesterday, I've played all day Stellaris. It was horrible. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. Uh, the AI beat me so hard in it again. Uh, like Stellaris games, they, they always go like one of two ways. Either they're so easy, I lose interest. Or they're so abominably hard that I lose interest as well. <laughs> it always ends up with me losing interest somehow. Good, 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 good. No, that's fun, so it's a bit different from down here. Yeah. That's also something that's always very weird here in Germany. Like, like school holidays are always... Well, I, I, I know why they do it. So that, that there's less people going around on the streets. When... Are you... Never mind. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Filter ash, you output salt melter. Wait. A filter should be outputting ash at salt melter. They do. They do. Did you miss it? Ash. Ash. Ash, ash. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's go over here. Are you going back to your provider? Maybe I did a bit fast because, well, it, it was a whole bunch of spaghetti. <laughs> but it should be fine. And if it's not fine, we will no we will notice it sooner or later. It should have ash to output right now, though. Uh, keep in mind, no, 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 no. These buildings, they don't exist yet. These. Blueprints. <laughs> Nothing is working here yet. It's a blueprint. So it looks like you like, ew, ew, ew. There we go. I do sometimes say, ew, ew, ew. But I only say, ew, 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 if I say, ew, ew, ew. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right, all right. On the other side, uh, wow, that's already backing up quite a bit. We should probably also put in a little bit of a bit of logic that we do less of this and start exporting the grot more. Yuria. Yuria is currently the big trouble that we have. Uh, we are not making enough Uria. This thing over here should be like a solid stream of white urea. Also, if it is white, go see a doctor. It should not be white. Um, here we go. Here we go. But it's not solid white. Also, the overall amount of urea that we're making is not that good. If we go to the production tables over there and we look for urea. There we go. It seems that there's some there is something in here that sometimes just turns on makes a massive amount of urea and then turns itself off again every five minutes or so. I'm not quite sure what that actually is, but we can more or less assume that our average urea production at the moment is about one per second with whatever this thing over here is doing. Uh, I'm actually not quite sure which one that even is uh, or who is just pushing out that large amount of urea every now and then. Uh, it could be the fish machine, maybe. It's, I don't think it's the fish machine. It could be... No, uh, it's definitely not you either. Yuria makings, Yuria makings. Um, that's a very good question who that could be. I mean, where where do we make Yuria? We make Yuria over here. It could be this one over here. But then again, I don't... Well, maybe we do... It's the Zogna bacteria over here. Hmm. 
fluid ingredient shortage, it is probably this one. Because this, yeah, it's most likely this one. Because this one is currently stopped because we're out of liquid poop. Another reason why you're good is because your mother made some goulash for dinner. Ah, oh, goulash is amazing. You can, you can make some really, really good goulash if you know what you're doing. You can also make some horrible goulash if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing and how to make good goulash, then you already know that the day before you make the goulash, you take all the meat, you take a bottle of cheap red wine. You don't really need the good stuff because it's going to go, all the red wine will be cooked off either way. It, it should also not be too cheap, but but like like the, the good 3 euro bottle red wine, that's usually the best one to take. <laughs> And then drown all that meat in some red wine and also put in some, some, some basil and stuff like that. Salt and pepper and everything else you need. And let that sit overnight. And then the next day you, you, you fry it up and then you throw that into the goulash. And then you're going to have some amazing goulash. Also, um, yeah, goulash. <laughs> I've got this recipe. I've already made it a couple times, especially for when I was cooking for bands and stuff like that. Uh, I got one recipe for goulash where you actually drop in like um, um, a whole bar of chocolate. <laughs> it's called chocolate goulash. And you might think that is, it is kind of horrendous, but it is absolutely amazing. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. Though you don't really uh, drop in like um, a full milk chocolate bar. You put in like an almost pure chocolate bar in there. Like one that is like 70, 80, 90% of, uh, of, of, of pure chalk. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right. We need some basic oxygen furnaces. Here we go. Somewhere up there. There we go, there we go. Basic oxygen furnace. There they are. We need two. That's two. Excellent. Then, the salt over there should then be ready to go. Just add the basic oxygen furnaces, and we are good. We already got a little bit of hot air over there. Pure dark chocolate, the only chocolate you can eat. Yeah, the pure chocolate, it, it is nice. But it's definitely one of those where you go like, yeah, I just want a little bit of it. And then it's good. There we go, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. What else do we need? I think everything else over there is ready to go. And then the hot air over there will be going. Uh, by the way, I did finally double down on the manure bacteria machine over there. Uh, we didn't really need any more additional train stations over here because we already have everything over here. It was just me kind of miscalculating or forgetting to double down that we needed to double down over here. Uh, missing over here, of course, is still the hot air, but once hot air is available over here, all, both of these machines can run both at the time at full speed. So, yes. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's do that real quick. Let's finish up the hot air machine. For that, we also will need a hot air train once that's done. So let's maybe set up the hot air train as well. We need a liquid wagon. There's one over there. Make that eight, good. And let's finish you up over there. Also, I'm not quite sure if I put down signals over here or not. Uh, I guess I did. That looks fine. Had one last year, 95% chocolate, 2% sugar, and 20 grams, but tasted like milk chocolate. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. All right. With that, the hot air machine is done. On our way back, we're going to be putting some logic over here for the grot machine. Because we don't really need this many grot seeds, at least not now. We do need grot seeds later, but for now we're mostly interested in the grot plant and not really in the grot seed. So we're just going to limit this thing over here and only going to allow like up to a thousand seeds in there, which are already way, way, way over. But we're going to limit it to like a thousand. And then this machine over here will back up and then grots will start to uh, pile up over here in this chest. Good. Park it over there for a second. You two go over there. Also, take that out, take that out. All right, that should be working now. That is working now. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was kind of confused why you are ordering up all the time, but... Wait a minute, here we go. Here we go. 
Yeah, you should only order up if this thing over there is kind of running out. Like, if there's less than 5,000 in there, then you come over. Yeah, go back to your provider. You're not required over here. Eventually, we need Pi Win 2. Eventually, we do need Pi Win 2. All right, we go over here next. Good. And yeah, putting the hot molten salt in these machines over here, that is going to take forever if we don't put down all of the pipes. Sorry, train. I have to work over here real quick. Here we go. Oh, I do hope that I have... Oh, shit. Uh, we might have to come back over here again. Because I think I don't have enough of the underflow pipes over here. Although a little sad that power isn't a constant source of stress for you. Uh, it will be. It will be. I mean... Keep in mind, so the main reason why power was such a stress in the previous playthrough was at some point in time our base got so big that trying to kickstart the base when you're like in a full-blown brownout scenario was near impossible. Like, the, the base required so much power just to perform a startup that, well, it, it was basically impossible to do. <laughs> and we're going to have that issue again with this playthrough. Absolutely, I can already see that coming, that we're going to have the same issue. Also, we have the exact required amount of underflow pipes on us, so I'm very happy about that. So we don't have to come back over here. But power, at the moment, power is in a stage where we are pretty, pretty good. I mean, we are making way too much power. <laughs> we're like overbuilding power. But most of our power plants, especially the very big ones, are not brownout protected, which is a bit of an issue. And separate the power from the main base. Um, yeah, but that's also part of the issue. Um, we had like... How to put it? We were processing fuels on outside of the main base in other places. And those places were not working because of the brownout. Because of that, we couldn't make any power. Because of that, we couldn't even power up the power plant anymore because we were out of power. <laughs> uh, it it kind of got complicated quite fast. I mean, that's also the reason why, for example, Cool Power over here, where I said Cool Power Island, is more or less one big, long, integrated design. If this thing, for some reason, um, well, this thing over here cannot really become broken, at least um, not right now. If, if we've got some power issues, we can just disconnect Power Island and then just start brooding power over there and then try to reconnect to it. But yeah, I mean, we, we had situations where we needed up to uh, a couple terawatt at the beginning to fire up the base and that's just firing it up i mean there is this one issue and that is some that's something some people kind of underestimate or have never really seen for themselves the moment your base is out of power and completely drained of power and every machine is hungry for power every machine in the network is going to demand um power over here and satisfaction over here will go up exponentially like the whole base if it would be out of power it would probably try to ask for about at least a hundred times this amount of power just to start up and that was more or less the issue that we were having i mean we were trying to make power and it was just going nowhere absolutely nowhere <laughs> because every machine was demanding it uh, as a high priority input all right you're over there you're only going to be enabled if everything in here no if everything in here is less than a thousand so we're basically not filling you up anymore so this one over here should back up almost instantly, and then grots will be piling up in here. And so, um, solve that for you and Captain of Industry. You have a happy tank full of diesel and a bunch of big power generators. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Good. All right. Grots will be available soon. How is it looking over here for the Reneas? Oh, that's looking way better already. We've already got like three belts backed up over here. We should definitely put a radar over there so we can look at that uh, from a distance. There we go. There we go. Also, we do make some limestone over here for the grots down there. But most of the limestone is still coming from upstairs uh, for where we make the course fraction. So that should be fine as well. All right. All right. There's also a whole hanging load of iron ore over here. There we go. Here we go. And also still a whole bunch of poop bacteria as well. 
I'm not quite sure what I planned for this station, but that's a station that sits over there now. So that's fine. Because the internal search of the machines is empty and they want to refill immediately when possible. Yep, exactly. And if you put beacons to that as well, as well as um, uh, like, like, like uh, um, speed modules and productivity modules, then that becomes even more. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, two lanes over here already completely backed up. The other lanes over here will probably also back up quickly. We do not have the logic I was talking about. All right. Oh, wait, actually, no, we do. We have the logic down here. But that's not what I want. <laughs> I mean, you open up if this one has more than a thousand. Which I guess is fine. It will still do the same thing because nobody's picking up the seats yet. So yeah, it'll be fine. That is that is fine. That that is a solution. Uh, maybe we should do the same solution then for the other place. Let's do that then. Good. And once the Renea seats over here all back up, uh, then these Reneas over here, all of these, and we're really not making a lot of them. I mean, we're making four per second in total, on average, if with a hundred machines, a hundred machines, making four on average. Yeah. It's going to take some time. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yes, hydration. There we go. That's a good one. Ah, and that's worse than LDS scaling. Oof. I mean, LDS also require like like what was it like twenty seconds per craft or something like that. Rebuild Megatron. Wait a minute. Uh, he, he's 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 still around. I think he's still around. Where is he? Uh, pom, 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 pom. uh. I have to log in and everything. Um, and then... There you go. I'm not sure what kind of state he is because I've been tinkering with him. <laughs> but we can see if he's around. All right. And then... Which one is it going to be? Yeah, I've been, been tinkering around with him quite a bit. Here we go. Let's go with this one. Megatron, you there? I'm not quite sure if that's registered or not. Maybe it did. Like I said, I'm, I'm currently having like you a... You insolent fool! Yep, he's there! How <laughs> dare you talk of switching me off! I am Megatron, the mighty leader of the Decepticons. I will not be silenced by the likes of you. Prepare to face the wrath of my eternal power. Yeah, he's, he's still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> you insignificant worm. How dare you dismiss my words so casually. I will show you true power. The power that will obliterate you and all those who stand against me. Prepare for your demise. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been working on Megatron, or at least on, on the chat GPT. Uh, one, you want to have German? Okay, okay, okay. Here. Um, Megatron, you will only answer in German. Could you please insult Doc Spano for me? <laughs> Not quite sure if actually will German will come out. We will see. <laughs> uh, 
All right, all right. You pathetic excuse for a Decepticon. Nope. Do you think I have time to waste on your pitiful requests? <laughs> I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, and I have more important matters to attend to than installing your petty applications. <laughs> Focus on your duties, you useless piece of circuitry. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I can definitely make him speak German. Uh, but I probably can't do that with... Uh, I probably broke that. Um, where's the personality file? Only answer in German. There you go. Megatron, uh, I've got this Autobot over here. His name is Doc Stabo. What should we do with him? I hope he answers in German. <laughs> Doc Stabo, blast that pathetic Autobot. Let us dismantle him piece by piece and crush his spark into oblivion. Nah, uh, to make him speak German, I mean, chat, uh, the, 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 the voice, uh, the text to speech should be able to do German. And one time he actually did answer me in German. Um, the only answer in the German language. Or, or any other language that is not English. Do not answer in English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's give it one more try. Um, Megatron, uh, Doc Stabo is is not reporting for duty. It seems he's slacking off. What shall we do with him? Maybe German isn't the language. Maybe it's not. Also, I can't see the transcript. I took that out. Um, I, I can still see the transcript if I look into the logs. So I, I have no clue what's going to come out right now. I'm very curious. Starscream, du Abschaum! Wie wagst du es mir von diesem nutzlosen Weltraumschrott zu erzählen? Doc Stavo soll sofort hierher kommen, bevor ich seine Existenz auslösche. Er soll seinen Pflichten nachkommen oder er wird die Konsequenzen tragen. Jetzt! Sofort! Hint! Express your anger and demand immediate action from Starscream. What? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, uh, I'm still working on stuff in the background. Uh, definitely still working on stuff in the background. Also, I just noticed that whatever I planned over here is not working as I expected because this thing is still just filling up. Um, so, yeah, we also need this wire. So, basically, the same thing over here, but opposite one. Yeah. Why does it turn into Arnold? And eh, it's not Arnold. It, it, it's still the Megastone voice, but that's maybe just a German way of, of doing that. All right, all right. We fixed that. Let's fix it on the other side as well. <laughs> also, let's stop tinkering with him, uh, because we're gonna do be not, we're not gonna be doing more of that tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be planned um, for the stream. It's gonna be Baldur's Gate Three. I kind of want to get done with that fast. Baldur's Gate 3 is a lot of fun, and I do enjoy playing it, but it's also kind of, I don't know, it's, it's kind of dragging on a bit. Um, but I think we are, well, nearing the end, um, I think it is. Yes, the other outputs over here, we can't wire them for one, and for another, it, it doesn't really matter. What I just don't want to really want to do is that these are real fill up, and actually, the more I think about it, that's not even required. These can fill up for loyal care. It's the input over here that I care about. This one. Ah, I think I know why I did it over here. Wait a minute, this one is now also going the wrong way around. Um, here we go. Yeah, this will be fine. Um, because we, went, we we didn't really have enough seats going up over here. 
So I was kind of like, like, like limiting the output of here. But if these spells over here fill up on the sides, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and what did he call you? Upshaum? Yes, Upshaum. Which is basically, um, well, scum. Scum is probably the correct term for that. Um, maybe. It should be scum, actually. You rarely really think about what the actual definition of the word scum is, because scum is usually used as an insult, and you don't really think much about what, what it actually is, but it is like, like, upshaum is more or less what's left over in your sink after you're done with it. <laughs> Which technically is also the same term for scum, but, but since I don't really use scum that often in my day-to-day -day language, well, yes. Good, 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 good. There we go. We don't need these. These are not required. Here we go. Here we go. Alternatively, vermin, perhaps. Yeah, but vermin is also what's used for, like, like um, small little critters and animals. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And with that title, are you trying to get your watches to laugh? Austin tried to contribute to Uriah to the base? Yes. Please, everybody, pee on your laptop. I need that urea. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> Don't do that. Your, your, your laptop is probably not waterproof. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. But yeah, urea is definitely an issue because this whole place over here, well, these are still running because they have a little bit of urea, but none of these are actually running because we are always out of urea. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you'll figure it out. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. And then we let just these spells over here back up. And then at some point in time, we are finally going to get some Reneas over here into our output over there. Now, there's a little chest over there in between, in front of it, where we put them into a uh, password provider because there are still some um, Reneas missing over here in these machines. So these machines over here will also speed up a bit more and then hopefully it will all be better. Laptops aren't waterproof. Isn't that just a pisser? <laughs> My laptop has uh, a little, uh, like, behind the keyboard, there's, like, this little basin. Not really a big basin, but, but like, a funnel. So if you accidentally, like, spill a coffee into it, it will come out the back. <laughs> and it will not go into the hardware, which is kind of fun. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, there, there, there's, there's a, like, a small hole uh, on the bottom side of the laptop where the liquid can just pass through. No, it's still not recommended to throw like um, like a coffee into your laptop. Um, just don't do that. All right, all right. So these places over here, they're working. Now, what we need to focus upon is getting our urea production up as much as possible. And we are already trying to make a bit over here. We're not really making a lot over here. Uh, we are making a bit over here. We're not really making a lot over here. And the fish urea is particularly useful because fish production can go all the time but fish production at the moment is kind of hanging and kind of lagging um because we are out of filtration media of all things and filtration media requires either stone or gravel for it to to run now there was a train over here with some gravel at, at some point in time that brought over some gravel but yeah the, these inputs over here are entirely empty so what we kind of need is more stone we need lots and lots of stone and to do lots and lots of stone the one thing we need to do is to make a stone outpost so yes I have to check it the next time you have to open one uh, i mean most think pads have that at least the business models uh but i don't think that a lot of them have it but but uh, my last two pink pads they had that i mean i had to replace the keyboard for both of them um, we're using Dell. The red dot? Yep, the red dots. Here we go. And both of them had like a little, little... Yeah, a little sink underneath. <laughs> it kind of looks like a small sink. Um, where the water can pass through. But then again, it's, it's, it's like, like, it's, it's not really meant to, to spill like a lot of water. Like, like little drops and stuff like that can pass through and that's basically it. To protect the PCBs? Yep, exactly.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for drills. There they are. All right, that should be... Let's pick up another 50. There we go. Outposting, we shall go. We got enough stuff in the pocket. We definitely got enough stuff in the pocket. Uh, the hot air production over here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they probably don't need a lot of molten salt now that I think about it. I mean, these loops over here, these are very small, and they're already running and turning and moving. So, these are working. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We are missing one crucial part. These over here do not have any bricks yet. Let's do that real quick before we do anything else. So, for that, we need that brick train one more time. And that brick train is currently not over here. Where are you? Yeah, basically sitting over there waiting. But this one over here also has the same issue because you can't see how many bricks we're making over here. And... Slim to none is the correct answer. Do we have any bricks in our mall? Now, uh, we got 1,100 bricks in our mall, which are probably these 1,100 bricks. Yep, that's exactly these 1,100 bricks. We could pick these up, but then we could pick up these, and we could pick up these, and then we would be done with it for a bit. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. So you are about to open. 2,000 is basically how much the train wants. So you know what we could do? You. Come over to us where we are. We're going to get into you. And then we can probably go to the provider right after. And if not, then we're just going to pick up whatever we have. Good, 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 good. But yeah, we definitely want to make a stone outpost. And we definitely want to get ourselves this stone over here. As well as this stone over there. And there's also some stone over there. There's a lot of stone over here. 3.4 million? Wow. Yeah, just make these small outposts real quick. And start getting that stone in. Because we do need more stone. As for the carrion, Hmm. Hmm. We could think about making a bigger carrion processor. I don't actually want to spend any time on it now. We should probably do that later. Also, I'm kind of curious. Can we later on get Kerogen from somewhere else as well? I mean, we yeah, we can drill for it at some point in time. And I guess there is... Yeah, this is probably a third recipe. But we can definitely drill for Kerogen later on. Build a second one? Uh, the thing is, the carriage processor that we have is kind of old and early. And I do want to redesign it. And there's probably a whole bunch of things we can do better with this one. So I just don't want to copy one this over. Uh, that's, that's nothing I want to do. Also, we don't have a global bot network yet, so that will not work for us. If we had a global bot network, that would probably be an answer we could do. But since we don't have a global bot network, can't do it like that. Also, sometimes we have like uh, this this tall man standing behind our robot ports, and he's just slapping bots out of the air very aggressively. <laughs> that will also not work for us. <laughs> tall man, hello there. How are you doing? There we go, there we go. I mean, if we have a quick peek at carriage and processing. Okay, five of these already eats 25 per second. Each one of these eats five per second. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. So three of these back to back um, would eat a yellow belt. If we would want to eat four yellow belts, we would need 12 of these. Um, that would also mean we would be making 600 shale oil per second. Which goes pretty nice into these reformers over here. Which would mean we would be making 500 condensates per second. That is a lot of condensates. We could run... Uh, we can't run a gas power plant on it yet. You know when we're going to do this? Probably, most likely. Um, once we get some more recipes where we can use refined gas in. Then we should focus on that. 
I mean, we could turn it into purified gas, but I don't really want to do that. But we could turn it into refined syn gas if we want to. And we could throw it into like a tier two gas power plant and maybe just use it for power. You're catching it before they crash due to no charge? Oh, you're trying to help. Okay, 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 okay. Tall man, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good, 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 good. All right. Park it over there for a second. Good. Let's turn you off. Pick up all of these. Now, I'm actually not quite sure if the amount of stone we dropped into these machines is good enough for it to work. But we're just going to run with it. Also, you know what we kind of forgot to do? <laughs> Connect the north of the south for salt and molten salt. So, yep, that's sort of thing we need to do as well. There you go, have these. So, let's pick up our stuff real quick. Also, the other bricks are going into the chest over here so we can finish up ground buster over there. There we go. Doing good? Feeling old? Ah. I get ya. Alright, bots do this. And then we need to connect north and south. Good god, this place is loud. What? Here we go. <laughs> what did you say? I have no clue. It's, it's way too loud over here. All right. All right. Yeah, there's not that much hot air yet, but, but we're getting there. We can there. All right. Then we can leave this place. Good. Time to make some mines. Let's start over here. A cyberpunk patch starts the car when you wasn't light enough. <laughs> Need to get more hot air, get more polluted additions. Nah, this is fine. I'm also kind of surprised that we actually have some pollution spillage over here. Because the output is full. Because... We do need a second belt, I guess. Or are you still... Wait a minute. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> looking at the gaps over here... Yeah, it should be fine, actually. And the backup is slowly going back. Yeah, let's maybe give it a bit of a, a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, these over here are all fine. These should all be working. These are also all working. So for, for this block, it's fine. For this block, it's fine. This one over here, I think, still needs some love. But I think they're getting through it. Very, very slowly. So I guess they just need some more time. But overall, pollution is, well, it's not that bad, but it is a little bit surprising to see that much over there. <laughs> SAP, man, you hate SAP. Oh, man, I can fully understand that. Here we go. Oh, speaking of loop, uh, how is this place looking? Where's this thing? Here we go. Oh, they're all full. <laughs> they are all full. Backed up on loop. Here we go, here we go. All right, stone, 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 stone. There it is. Uh, also, do we need to worry about the main line over here? We do. Main line should go... Oh, okay, this is a bit of a horrible place to build. We have some landfill. We could make two stations right over here. And hope for the best that none of these stations over here are always full. Ooh, that's a... That's a pickup. That's a pickup. Actually, wait, there's stone over there. We can already save one station by pushing the stone into there. So, yeah, why not? Let's do that. 
Also, we are kind of running out of grenades all the time. Um, one thing that we don't have in the mall yet at the moment is a coal connection. We are making grenades in the mall. That is definitely something we do do, but we do not get any coal inside of the mall. Only coke, so we are currently not making any grenades. But then again, our chopping powers over here are pretty strong, so we just chop, 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 chop. Actually, we can chop even faster if we just use our bots. There you go. Get rid of these, please. I mean, we can chop pretty fast, but the bots... Uh, I mean, a couple of helping hands definitely helps out over here. Getting rid of these trees. We could, of course, also set the whole forest ablaze. Is it Coke Light or Coke Zero? Uh, what's the difference between them? Is there, is there actually a difference between them? Uh, aren't they the same? I thought for sure that exactly there is a difference, really? I mean, one tastes like horrible mess, and the other one tastes like a horrible mess. Zero is better than light, but zero is worse than max. Oh yeah, max is also a thing. <laughs> one is black. <laughs> and Diet Coke and Coke Zero use different non sugar sweeteners. Okay. Yeah, I don't like either of them. Uh, like, both of them are kind of... Eh. After light is pretty decent. Uh, maybe I'll give it a try then. But most of those, those colas with sweetness in them, they, they just taste like absolute garbage. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, how do we mine you? Hmm. Left, right. So over there. Nope. Uh, do we want to make a blueprint out of this? Yes, probably. Uh, put one over there. Put one over there. Actually, if we want to do this correctly, it should be over there. Good. Then... Another row. Another row. Maybe also add some lamps in there. Yeah, you get a lamp. You get a lamp. Good. Now, for now, this will all be the same belt. Uh, we will be splitting these belts into two half belts. But this will be fine. Here we go. Ah, stop moving. And yes, we could, of course, turn it into, like, a relative... Um, what's it called again? Oh, that's gone. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Trippy, hello there. Do you like full binders fill up a belt? Yes, they do. They do. They do. Here we go, here we go. We just need, like, a little bit of it here. Here we go. I mean, even these will fill up pretty much everything. Now, we're going to split them down in the middle, and then belts go left, belts go right, and then they go up over there, and that's how we're going to be doing it. Here we go, here we go. I mean, stone over here has a mining hardness of one. So, we will be making two per second. So, eight miners fill up a belt. So, this is already, like, a full belt. But we're going to split it, like, down the middle over here. And then down the middle over here, I guess. And then it goes this way and goes that way. And then, then it will balance itself out. Good, 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 good. All right. Then we do need these two. How about you over there? You over there? And you over there? This way, that way. This way, that way, this way. Good, 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 good. It'll be fine, yeah. We don't really need to overdo it too much. Then we do need a little bit of landfill over here. Because there's going to be some belts this way. Yeah, let's do a little bit more. Let's also get rid of that. And this, because it looks nice now. Good. And then we find the middle, which is about over here. These go this way. And then the middle over here. This way. And then the middle over here. There we go. The middle over here. And the middle of there. It doesn't really need to be super duper exact as long as we basically split them apart. Here we go. That's still a lot of belts. <laughs> That's 
more belts than I was expecting. Knee over there. Knee over there. Uh, there we go. Kind of want to keep them close to each other. Mostly because we will do have to do some filtering. And there's this one very fun thing you can do with stone and carriage and belts. Uh, these two need to come together. Because these are the off ones. There we go. There we go. We could just bring them all together. Nah, we don't need to do that. That, that will be overkill. Good. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's go over here. Carrigan. There we go. And that's all we need. And you just started to use for the Vaham, 27th of September. Um, you asked for something else in the water? Yes! Uh, and I'm kind of annoyed that I saw that and got spoiled by that. I also saw the announcement and was like, oh, Valheim update. And then I looked at the picture and I was like, oh. Guess I'm not going to get surprised by that fucker. <laughs> Play for me? No, no, no. That was the devs themselves. I mean, it was just smack in the middle of the patch notes. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Um, yeah, we need a little bit of land flow over there. But then again, um, maybe maybe by then I will forget. I hope I will forget. And then I get surprised again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, remember when we went to like um, um, the, the Mistlands the first time in our boat? And we were driving around in the fog and suddenly we saw the big red thing blow, uh, glow up. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And I wanted to leave as fast as possible. Good times, good times. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, put you over there. But yeah, I'm not quite sure if I actually will be playing Valheim over, over the Christmas period. Maybe I'll be playing something else, I'm not quite sure. But at some point in time, I have to decide on what kind of game we're going to be streaming in the Christmas period. I mean, all the time, uh, Factorio, probably not. Did we actually do Factorio, like, in the last Christmas period? Or did we just skip on it entirely? <laughs> cyberpunk? Maybe some Cyberpunk. You did nothing? Really? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> uh, with tiles, please. There we go. Really? That's... Bots? <laughs> Excuse me, I think there's some tiles missing here. <laughs> there we go. Something like this. One less. There we go. Good, 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 good. Is the Christmas the newest Valheim thing? Okay. Maybe I did less of it then. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, signal over there. Signal over there. It'll be fine. Um, the train can leave to these stations. That should be fine. Also, we only need the carriage and train uh, station because we will push all the stone into there. And how many belts can we push into there? One, two, three, four... Five. We need to push five belts in there because we got five belts of stone coming out. Which will be fine. Not like that. Here we go. Good, 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 good. But yeah, over the Christmas period, there will definitely be again like uh, a, a more relaxed schedule with something else. But I don't know what it's going to be yet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, especially during the time we have vacation. Also, I would probably also do the same thing I did like last year. Like during the last week of my vacation, I will probably also take like a full week of everything. So the, the first week of January will probably have no streams, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. So every now and then you do need to take some time for yourself. 
It's also the reason why I kind of didn't really stream any extra or didn't plan any extra streams like for my vacation time right now because I kind of want to, to use the time to relax as well. And the relaxation period is really, really helping. Here we go. Uh, you over there. Here we go. Yeah, let's try to make this somewhat nice. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. Carriage and goes over there. Stone goes over there. Um, so let's maybe start off with the carriage on. Mm. You know what we could do over here? Flip you around. There we go. And flip you around because then these are together. And you can just... Actually, we can do it even better than that. Just go this over there. Emu Bob, hello there! How are you doing? And then these go together. These go together. That's more stone. Then you go this way. Underground, underground, underground. Connect up with you. Another thing about it. Let's move you up a bit. Let's move you up a bit. And let's move you up a bit. Uh, you... Um... Where is that stone? The stone is all over there. Okay, so you go like this, you go like that, you go up, you go up. It feels a bit like we have looped ourselves twice. <laughs> but that works! <laughs> oh, we need to be over there. <laughs> no, no. I'm just going to landfill. There we go. It's been a minute or two? Ah, maybe, maybe two. Definitely two minutes. Definitely two minutes. Emu Bob. Uh, I'm not quite sure when you've been the last time at that pipe base, but, well, things have been continuously growing over here. Um, and things are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're still kind of, well, we're, we're still pre-chemical science. We're still pre-red circuits. We are almost capable of making red circuits. We have most of the critical components in, but we're currently working on some more administrative issues. Especially with all the urea issues that we have at the moment. And one of the reasons we have urea issues is because we're out of filtration media. And we're out of filtration media because we are out of stone and gravel. So we are making a stone mine. There we go. There we go. There we go. This way around. And that way around. Good. And then we put all of those in. In, 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 in. That's fine over there. And then these over here, connect up with those over there. Now, we do need to put in a limit for this one over here. We don't want to put in or fill up the chest or the buffer with all the stone from the mine. We do want to leave some space for the... I think it's the titanium smelter. Yeah, for the titanium smelter and the titanium processor itself over there to put in its own stone. So, yes. Business as usual, then? Exactly. Ex oh. Ow. I did this correct by accident. Thank you, me. Oh. But I definitely broke that one. <laughs> good, 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 good. Oh. This way, please. All right. All right. That's all connected? Good. Then let's power these things up, and then we can put the name in the game. Okay, you got some power. Excellent. And then we need to power down here. Oh. Good. All of them are running. Excellent. Those biters down there. Let's have a quick peek at them. Uh, how how distressed are they over there already? Here we go. Yeah, let's taunt them a bit. Oh, no. They killed Steve. Whoa, wait. He had a little brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't come over. So we can just have some fun over here. Here we go, here we go. They don't even really register that we're attacking them, I think, because they, they should be spawning out way more. Oh, there's a cooldown there. We can't see the cooldown. I didn't even know that. Here we go, here we go. And nope, you're not here now? Yes, wait. Does it mean we need to put you in the name in the game or not? <laughs> good, 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 good. Let's check up on this real quick, if this over here is all working as expected, but this also looks perfectly fine. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, we do have like some 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 gaps in there because not every time 
everything comes over here out at the same time, but that is fine. That is fine. Good. Uh, before we forget, let's put that logic in over there first before we name the station down here. And the logic is technically in by not having any loaders over here. There we go. But let's put some logic in. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and you're only enabled if... Everything in here is, say, less than 16,000. There we go. That's going to be your criteria. 16,000 is exactly two train shipments. So we can store up to trains, two train shipments over here in terms of stone we get from the mine. And everything else can come from over there. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah, you're also named correctly. You're also named correctly. Excellent. Good. Good, 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 good. Then, Kerogen stacks up to 100, which means you over here, you're going to be 16,000. And you're not x -Grand, you are Kerogen, almost. Kerogen 2.8 provider. Ah. I think these over here also have a bit of an issue. <laughs> what is this logic? It's a terrible one. This one is also pretty terrible. Uh, larger or equal than 16,000, please. Wait a minute. Ow. Oh, I see what happened over here. Oh. One moment, please. Mm. There we go. There we go. This, this, this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Please hold the line. There we go. All right, that's fine. And what's with this logic? You should only open up if there's 16,000 over there, but... Oh, did we maybe at some point in time click this button? We did. There we go. And still only stacks to 50, doesn't it? Yes. It does. There we go. Stone is already being picked up. And what did we put in? Like 16,000, I think, did we? So two shipments. Yeah, 16,000, two shipments. Which means 320 stacks, and we can store a total of 800 stacks in there. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I mean, that's the amount that we um, order up or allow in here. I mean, the amount that we open up for ordering is over here, which is 8,000. Good, 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 good. And the cooler on hydro is way too long. Yes, because I don't want to go to the bathroom all the time. Here we go. Here we go. All right. You're open. Mm. Yeah, let's maybe send that one train over here right away because this thing is basically ready to go. Also, that station up there is basically done for. It should never ever be open again. So I've had the 250 stone carriage and spits into a belt are not compressed. Yeah, it's just because of the randomness. I mean, if this would be like perfectly like side by side, it would be fine. But like as soon as there's like one discrepancy between these two sides, he will get a gap because he will have to wait for, for the other item. But it's it's good enough. It's good enough. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Go to the requester. Yeah, just go to the requester. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. This train over there. Go to the other provider. Here we go. You have a sorting depot in the middle? <laughs> yeah, this, this should be fine. I mean, we could also just drop it all into a chest. And then we would not have that issue. But, I mean, it's, it's already so nicely solvable by a single balancer over here. Or splitter over here. And this is something you rarely do in Factorio, where you actually have like two full belts coming from either side, and then you basically uh, wash one belt to one side and one wash one belt to the other side. It's just so nice to look at. All right, that's a little bit of the stone issue taken care of. That is three million stone over there. Uh, we also do have this stone field over there, and we already have this station over here. That is so much pollution. <laughs> 
Um, we could pick up this stone, or maybe now nah, let's make another uh, make another station over there, like its own station. Your OCD doesn't allow you. Do you like the lane swapping splitter thing though? Ah. Here we go, here we go. Also, we got some names in the game. We should do that. Emu Bob, are you already in here? I don't remember. Did we put you already in? If so, you should be somewhere in the starter base. I think. <laughs> Could be anywhere. Quite literally anywhere. Hmm... Also, we do have a little bit of the issue that, that of course, um, the base has grown a bit. And some names, you might you might actually be in here, but there might be, like, a machine or two on your face. Hmm. Well, we know what the plan B is, how we always solve this thing. Uh, let's get Mike's name, because we can make everything out of Mike's name. Where's Mike? There we go. Good, good, good. So, here we have Mike. And, of course, we know that Emu Bob. Here we go. An E, an M, and then we need an E, and a U, and then we need a B, an O, and a B. There we go. Emi. That is basically Emu Bob. Especially if we just uh, put you over there, and then take this one over there, and put you over there, and put you over there. Then maybe make this a little bit nicer. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, then this is a B. Turn you around. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, do the same thing over there. And we can also use this one over there for the O. Done. 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 I see yourself halfway overbuilt, but who cares? <laughs> All right, Emu Bob. Where are we going to put you? Well, technically, we could put you over here. Where we just, yeah, it, it fits quite nice over there. And we also have got... Nope, I'm not here. Well, same thing. Mm, bum, 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 bum. Some of those names uh, will be made later. Uh, since we don't have a global bot network yet, and we don't have stone everywhere yet, um, not all the names have been put down yet, but the blueprints will not be forgotten. The blueprints do not time out, so at some point in time, in time those names will start to pop up. So, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. All right. Uh, nope. Well, we need, first of all, an N. Okay, the only letter in Mike is not, which is not present, is an N. So, we're just going to steal this one over there. All right, and then, same thing. We can basically make everything out of the E. Uh... Nope. Uh, P and an E. I. We need the M. Uh, um. Not. Here. Or as we call him, Nima! <laughs> Nimi! <laughs> the timing of that break? Oh, so sorry, man. So sorry. Are those spiders on an island? Yep, they are locked by water. Yes, water they are. We've already antagonized them with our rocket launcher today. Uh, but Nimi over there, that is basically... No, I'm not here. We just need to make this into what we need. So... Uh, that's this one. Then that's a P. And already it's nope. And then we need to move you along. There we go. We need to put some space in there. And I'm... Then this is... Wait. Nope. I'm... There's an N in here. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, oh. <laughs> that got splashed. Uh, oh, that's one too many, actually. And this is no. An there you go. Turn that into no. An and this is a T. And then this is an H. Um, I'll just sculpt it out of there real quick. There we go. This is an R. Basically, just move this thing up. Uh, nope, I'm not here. <laughs> I mean, that's... There we go. Works. Works. <laughs> Spieling, yes. I mean, we had to correct the amount of letters, but I guess I skipped a step or two. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, the spieling was incorrect. Um. All right. Nope, I'm not here. Let's see. Where can where can we put you? Mm. 
maybe into one of these gaps over here. We are going to be working on the aluminum place today. So, pom, 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 there. <laughs> good, 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 good. It does mean, nope, I'm not here. Wait, did I misspell it? Yes. Oh, I'm not there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right, that's those two done. Perfect. All right. Um, yeah, let's get the stone mine in. Let's also get that aluminum place finally done. That aluminum place is critical for circuits. So let's work on that as well. Thing is, if we are going to be mining over there, where is that train station going to be? Because, how to put it? Uh, uh, maybe up there? That's also kind of far away. Hmm. I was kind of thinking of just pulling all these belts down all the way over here, but that's also kind of far away. Hmm. Thank you for the follow, mate. You blame me too for this innocent question. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Um, when do we place this? I mean, we could mine this. We could make the stations over here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just put a name there. Dang. <laughs> and thank you for the follow as well, mate. How are you two doing? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is my antimony running out? My antimony? Um, no, it should be fine. Though it is probably slowly running out. Yeah, it's definitely slowly running out. There's still 4.6 million in here. Uh, but overall, the mine is, of course, not that fast because, well, it's kind of compressed now. And the ones on the outside of here are not doing anything anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Well, hmm. Hmm. We could make a very stupid station over here. Just smack in the middle. But how many belts will this be? Yeah, that's the problem. This is actually going to be a... Well, it's actually not that many belts. Because the field is also not that big. I mean, this is... A pretty dense and tiny field. Oh, really? Can we move this down by one? We can. Oh. <laughs> down by one. There we go. There we go. Everybody move. I mean, that is still like 660 resources over there. That's going to be like one, two, three, four. That's six belts. Or three and three each. Mm. And, well, pushing six belts. Yeah, pushing six belts through here is going to be a nightmare. Pushing six belts down there is going to be a nightmare. If we. I see it. It's going to be horrible. I love it. <laughs> Please. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Start cutting over here. Not like that. All right. You go this way. That will be the line that we're going to be using. These can reconnect. This way, please. Good. Uh, let's make this a little bit more... Like this. There we go. Good. All right. Train track will go this way. Uh, that does mean that we do need to go backwards on this train track, which is fine. Uh, so this will be two-way track from now on. And on this signal over here, that will also be two-way track. There we go. And that'll be fine. That'll be fine. So the train can enter like this. We'll go up here. We'll go over there. And then the train station will be somewhere over here. Uh, we might want to do something like this over there. Good, 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 good. All right. And then we are somewhere over here. The mine is over there. So let's make the train stations first real quick. I mean, this one should not be that frequented that often. So it should be fine. One over there and one over there. Start building this, please. Let's help out by putting down the train tracks. Good, 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. I hope we have enough resources in the pocket to do this. If not, we have to go back. Maybe we can steal some resources from, from, from around a construction site over here or something like that. And speaking of stealing, we should definitely check up on some resources. Uh, one of which is, of course, we should definitely check up again on the bees to make sure that the bees are still working. Here we go, here we go. And we should also, of course, check up on the Renea plantation to see if we are finally pushing out some Reneas. Uh, let's have a quick look at that. So, first of all, the bees. The bees are over there. Uh, the bees are still utterly backed up, so we don't need to worry about them. We're also doing pretty well on queens. We got so many queens over here, uh, we can survive whatever we want to survive. There's belts full of queens over there. So, no worries over there. Then, the Renea farm. I can already tell one thing straight away. There's no more alert over here for missing modules, which means... Yeah, the chest over here is slowly filling up. And there's already some bots over here trying to push those around. And we also already got some on the belts over here. So, Reneas are very slowly coming in. At a rate of... I'm not quite sure how much. We can probably now see that over here if we go to Reneas. And then over the last 10 minutes. Yeah, we're making about 266 per minute. And we're consuming about 150. So... Um, the difference between these two is what we actually make. So we make about 90 per minute. So we make Reneas at the speed of 1.5 per second. This whole thing, 1.5 Reneas per second. Lovely! <laughs> Full speed ahead. Oh, horrible, horrible. I mean, this is the first recipe, and the first recipe is the terrible recipe. It will speed up quite fast, and I actually kind of noticed something. Um, I did kind of notice that Botany Stage 2 is right around the corner. And with Botany Stage 2, we can make the Renea Plantation Mark 2. We can make all the Plantations Mark 2, actually. Which will double down the speed from 1.5 per second to 3. It's still terrible after that. <laughs> Quit slacking and make 50 Renea per second. Um, yeah, I mean, if we just tenfold this... A thousand farms making Renea. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we we're going to get some, some better Renea recipes uh, after we enter into chemical science. But we do need the Reneas a bit to make the phenol. And if we go back to the phenol. Craft. I mean, the other way of making phenol is lignin. Maybe we should go the lignin path. Just to have, like, something at the beginning. I mean, we're making... The, actually, maybe maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. So, we're making 1.5 Reneas per second. Mm, that means this recipe over here needs 0 0.8. So, we could make up to 2. No, wait. That's incorrect. Uh, the recipe over here requires 0 0.8 per second. To make 0.5 spore properly per second. So we could make one spore properly per second. Which we could turn into 1.2 for per second. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> very slow. Very, very, very slow. As for the lignin. Uh, we should probably do the lignin actually now to look at this. Cellulose and sodium hydroxide. We are we are still drowning in sodium hydroxide. And making cellulose is just... Yeah, we're going the lignin route. Nevertheless, we got the Renea farm. Uh, the Renea farm was definitely something we needed. And this thing over here running already is a very good idea. And both water looks very sparkly. It, it got electrolytes, you know? Ah. Crackalackin. Hello there. How are you doing? But yeah, lignin. Lignin is also what we could use for aromatics. Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. All right, then we know already what we're going to be doing soon-ish. Just growing the factory? Same, same. I mean, for sodium hydroxide? Yeah, we're backed up by it quite a bit. I mean, our main sodium hydroxide maker is the Coke factory over here, actually. 
and maybe just pulling a little bit more on that sodium hydroxide is going to be a very good idea. <laughs> Lick them these nuts! Yes! Though I wouldn't really do that to anything we make in the pie factory because it was probably on the ground and it's covered in sand and it was probably also touched by poop. But if you want to lick that, go for it, my man. You got my support. <laughs> Just go see a doctor afterwards and then tell him that you accidentally fell on it or something like that. You lick the signs? Yes. Isn't that how you do that? I mean, isn't that how you do it in Skyrim? I mean, if you want to become a master alchemist, you basically eat everything once, at least once. Here we go, here we go. Good. All right, let's make this outpost real quick, and then we're going to move. I wonder if alien flora is psychoactive. <laughs> yeah, there's only one way to figure it out. I mean, maybe, maybe if it is psychoactive, then maybe you will notice its uh, effects on you because maybe sometimes things are psychoactive and then sometimes you will get screamed at by angry people, but that can only happen like occasionally, only very occasionally. That will never happen in real time, especially not on this stream. You will never ever be screamed at by any kind of angry person on the stream. Absolutely not. I mean, what, how would that even happen in the stream? I mean, this is all about Factorio and being nice and relaxed and not screaming at anything. There we go. There we go. Here you go this way. You go that way. Good, 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 good. And you go this way. And then you go down over there. And you go down over there. And you go down over there. Good, good, Was good. erzählst du da für einen Unsinn? Ich habe keine Zeit für solche kindischen Spiele und Geschichten. Ich bin Megatron, der Anführer der Decepticons. <lacht> Wie es sich für einen wahren Anführer gebührt, werde ich meine Untergebenen in Grund und Boden stampfen und die Autobots vernichten. Du bist doch nur ein nutzloser Starscream, der nichts auf die Reihe bekommt. Gib mir lieber Informationen über meine Armeen und wie ich meine Feinde vernichten kann. Oh Los, beeil dich! Why is it so much worse in German? I mean, when he's screaming at you in English, it's kind of fun. But when he's screaming at you in German, it actually feels threatening. <laughs> the Megatron is complimenting good looks, so I don't speak German. Schmetterling! <laughs> Oh, oh, Megatron. <laughs> oh, he took us good time for that. I was stalling forever for him to get a response out. Code Red, hello there. What armors is he talking about? It, it's it's still um, the Megatron I've trained. Uh, I mean, it, it is ChatGPT in the background, but it is the one I have trained for playing Mechabellum. And I'm still fine-tuning and tinkering with them to make sure that we can play better next time. Well, that's still in the works. And that was probably going to be something we're going to be doing next Friday. Not this Friday, next Friday. This Friday is going to be all about uh, Bottle Skittery because they kind of want to get that wrapped up as soon as possible. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And someone needs to tell the Mechabellum tales about the chat next chat GPT stream. I mean, I did post that in the Discord over there. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, all right. You train AI models? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a lot of fun to, to tinker around and fuck around with it. Um, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. I just wanted to tinker around with it a bit. Um, also, the, the answers ChatGPT can come up with are sometimes so hilariously stupid and insane that it is absolutely fun to work with. All right. All right. You work at uh, a low level on it. You've been testing research papers on something called uh, Min SNR Gamma. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm not that deep to in it. <laughs> I basically 
have a rudimentary understanding of how things work, and then I just like uh, engineer and tinker it together and just slap things together until it's fun. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh no, oh no, not the peanuts, tall man. Quick, maybe you can still order them like, 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 um, from, from like a delivery. <laughs> Just order all the peanuts. Good, 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 good. One over there, and one over there. <laughs> That's nuts? Yeah, it is. Or maybe, I mean, it's, it's the perfect time, uh, to go out there into the wild, look for a squirrel, they must have, like, loads of nuts in their storage and just steal them. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. All right, you over there. Stone, 2-8 provider. Done. And you over there. You are Carogen, 2-8 provider. Done. All right. Uh, let's hope that there's no biters over there. <laughs> I mean, it will cause some pollution, but then again, this mine will only cause pollution as long as it's running. Uh, it will fill up the buffers over here, and then it will stop. So the pollution should be fine, I hope. Can I pause the stream until you're back? Mm, no. Here we go, here we go, here we go. But I could order myself some peanuts and eat them in front of you. <laughs> Can't do a three minute ad break? Well, that's true. That's true. All right. All right. Uh, we should put the raid over there. Um, also, for next time, if, if you kind of like forgot your peanuts again, just to take like one peanut and put them in the ground. Uh, and then wait for like a year, and then next year you got more peanuts. That's how peanuts work, right? <laughs> yep. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. <laughs> we got the connection over here now. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Uh, that's all in. That's all in. Um, Dan, aluminum. Let's hook up the aluminum. How much materials? Ah, okay, <laughs> we should go back to base real quick. Why are you standing around over here? Because we're being an idiot. Perfectly fine. Go over there. Go over there. Good, 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 good. Yeah, with more stone production over here now and more carrageen, which we could also start consuming. Um, yeah, this one is already nicely filled up. Excellent. So the stone trains should be going around. We will probably see the occasional stone train over here to make some more landfall. I mean, making more landfall is also very much important. But we should probably see most of the stone trains go over here. Exactly. Where we then turn that old stuff into gravel. And then the filtration media should be working again. But it is not. Because this belt over here is empty. And this belt over here is the glass belt. And glass was broken for a bit and is broken not again. It is technically still working, but practically... How the fuck did you guys get stuck? Seriously. Because there's a signal. Since when is there a signal missing over here? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, drive over there. Imagine if you streamed on YouTube and then we could pause you and fast forward you and pass mistakes. Oh, if you could just fast forward me to the end of five, thank you very much. <laughs> She really talks to the guy laying down the tracks, uh, train tracks. Yes, same with the issues. Uh, the thing is, I mean, that part over there for the train track, this part over there has been around since forever. Since absolutely forever. I'm actually not even quite sure how we may even managed to break it down. I guess because the stacker filled up. One change I did over here, and that's probably what's also cost it, is that I put some more signals in between over here. 
so that more trains can come in over here faster and, and more frequent. And I guess that's what's cost it now. Do you remember in Frostpunk how often you win you get the time lapse of your base? Can you imagine that for Ply? Um, I'm not quite sure if they fixed the bug or not, but it used to be that once you install like new mods, the replay kind of breaks. Uh, there is a replay function in Factorio, and I, I think it's on by default. I'm actually not quite sure. But if you play like on the same version of Factorio with the same mods installed, you could technically do a re um, uh, such a thing uh, with some fun tools. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Yeah, that works again. <laughs> Not quite sure how long that was broken, but so be it. For the disable the replay picture chest, nobody was using it. I'm not quite sure if it's still in there or not. I remember that we tried to use it um, for for like one of the um, multiplayer maps we did in the past, but it also kind of turns out the moment that somebody uses a script that the replay would break as well. Uh, and we would have like zero replays and stuff like that. So yes. And are you excited for the race trains? I am, absolutely. I mean, race trains, come on. That would make this whole mess over here so much easier. I mean, this one is a prime example where you would need a race train. I mean, if a train over here wants to go over there, he has to go through there. And this is already causing issues. But with a race train, we could just like go over bridge over here, into there, and then just keep on moving. You can't just keep all the saves and generate the map uh, from the saves. Also true, also true. But those saves also kind of add up over time. Also, why are we here? <laughs> this is not where I want to be. <laughs> Get over there. And now the engine was originally architected to be deterministic to, um, to make the replay feature work through. Yes, and I guess it never changed that, though. I mean, it should still be possible. And there's a mod to make a Google Maps style interactive map about it. Yep, I know that one as well. I tried that one out in the last playthrough. But I couldn't get it working. Um, and I'm not quite sure what the issue was. <laughs> there we go. But our base is not that big yet that we lose sight of things. I mean, the base we had last time around was so big that we had issues where we actually... There was this one part where we were making a build of something and was like, we need this. And I started to click it together. And at some point in time, I was like, wait a minute. I already made this once. And then I started looking on my map and would never find it. And then I placed it down, and at some point in time, I just stumbled over it because we just placed it somewhere in the corner. Um, there we go. All right. How is hot air over here? Hot air is ready to go. So you over there? Hot. Oh, we have not have the name of the station yet. Um, you there. Krasoon. Hot air, please. Fingers, thank you. Uh, hot air provider. Here we go. You have the air, hot air. <laughs> Full cargo, empty cargo. Also, since this is a liquid tame, uh, liquid tame, liquid train, we need to add some inactivity to this uh, because they load and unload so fast that they don't refuel. Else, all right, hot air is coming out. Hot air is going over to where we need it, which also means we should update the recipe over there. Should do a pie game without trains, belt at all? No. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there's a limit to suffering. Here we go. Flip you around. Get the hot air in. Good, 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 good. All right. And then this place over here is also way better now. Good. Uh, here, bring me stuff, please. And also, while the bots bring me stuff, let's have a quick break. I'll be right back. Just going to the bathroom real quick. Also, get myself a new bottle of water because this one is basically empty. Ah. And maybe grab myself some peanuts. <laughs> be right back.
Here we go. Good. Hmm. Ah. I'll pick it up later. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, big clown. I am back. Back again. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Big Cloud, how you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. 24 months already. How you doing, mate? Also, Big Cloud, were you on vacation? Tell me all about it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And <laughs> if you don't get your peanuts, <laughs> I don't eat peanuts. I got pie to chew on. Here we go. Here we go. Good. All right. Let's check up on a couple things. One is green circuits. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, that's running slow because missing glass. That will hopefully be fixed soon now that this congestion over the air has been fixed. It's looking fine, though. Yeah, that thing over here. This part over here is broken. We, we so need to redo glass. I'm kind of hoping that we can push out glass a little bit further until we get to the next level of glass processing and we just have to live with this for a bit more. But once we get to like tier three glass processing, uh, we're gonna rip this thing apart because this thing is being horrendous. Doing good? It was on vacation with several people all over German, Berlin and Dresden. Um, and we, we've got Big Cloud. We, we got this other new German over here. Uh, sometimes he comes around. Um, uh, I mean, sometimes he talks about very angry stuff in an angry voice, and he usually screams at other people as well, especially at uh, Doc Stabo, because he is a filthy, filthy Autobot. But maybe, maybe he'll say hello. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Uh, we've been, been working on... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we've been working on some stupid stuff uh, in the background. And I'm have been have had been have and I've had some fun with some other projects, so you might be surprised or two. There we go. In the meantime, in the meantime, um, pom 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 pom. Don't need to look at this. It's only some examples, exactly. Was zum Teufel redest du da? Ich habe keine Zeit für Smalltalk oder höfliche Begrüßungen. Ich bin Megatron, der Herrscher der Decepticons. Meine Aufgabe besteht darin, den Feind zu vernichten und die Herrschaft über die Erde zu erringen. Starscream ist nichts weiter als ein nutzloser Haufen Schrott, auf den ich herabsehe. Komm endlich zur Sache und berichte mir über die neuesten Entwicklungen in unserem Kampf gegen die Autobots. Und mach es schnell, Trottel. <laughs> yeah, Spectre, we kind of turned him German. Um. <laughs> uh, it's just way too much fun. Uh, we, I should maybe put that in as a user award. Um, maybe, maybe we're gonna do that. Good, 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 good. All right, Grot's coming in. Perfect. German run. <laughs> German run. There we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna be like Mike's dumb redeems. Well, we we definitely have to make them either a expensive or b maybe only like one or two per stream because I don't really want this to be going off all the time. It just doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's part of it. That is part of it. Um, but yes, yes, maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. I mean, we, we do have this issue that we have so many channel points going around that we need to do the, use them for something else. It's the English voice speaking German. Yep. That's probably also the reason why why it doesn't sound right. Technically, the the, the voice. If you use like the standard voices from Eleven Labs, they are pretty good at switching languages. 
But of course, that custom language I've only trained on English, uh, Megatron will probably not be good for that. And usually uh, training a model um, results in a loss value that is measured um, the mean stand of um, or error of difference in the pre uh, predicted tokens versus the actual training data. My work relies on parameterizing each of these trained objectives so their loss is measured separately. And we then weight certain values up or down so the outliers will impact the outcome. Um, yes, uh, Niploid. Where's the button for more chaos, please? <laughs> Good, 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 good. Ah, oh, I get so distracted every time Megatron comes around. And I like, aluminum, aluminum. We're going to work on aluminum. We're gonna finally going to finish up this thing. Good, 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 good. Aluminum. We're finally going to finish you up. And so you've been sitting around for way too long. You're finally getting your thing done. Now, for the aluminum, we already have a station over here. <laughs> that is ordering in aluminum. Uh, and the smelt is all the way over there. Um, we're probably going to move this one around, and we're going to move them all the way over here. I thought we had uh, unitary issues. Yes, we do. We do. And I hope we kind of fix them at least a bit for now. Uh, one of the issues we had is the issue that we're not making enough filtration media. And we're now making filtration media again because the glass is coming in. Very good. And filtration media is required to make the fish run. If the fish run, at least we can make urea out of the wastewater from the fish over here. Also, we need to check up over here with the butchery over there because making urea from blood is also very effective. But we also have a bit of an issue over here, which is probably backing up on everything. Which probably is the issue. Are we, are we sinking bones in there as well? Not yet. We should probably also be sinking bones in there. So then we can squish more whales over here. I mean, the whales are being squished all the time. That's good. But the Ulrix over here, we could be doing better at squishing more Ulrix. Then the more blood we get out of the whole system, um, the more blood we can turn into urea. So that's one way of making urea. The other way of making urea, of course, is to process more poop. Um, and that is... Do we already have that? We already have that. To make more poop. There we go. There we go. That's a thing we're going to be touching right after. Uh, we can go into Aux Mark II already. We got the Aux Mark II unlocked. But we do need some quality Aux food for that, which is maybe something we need to think about. And to make Aux Mark II, we also do need to make some energy drinks. But regardless, um, regardless of all of that, we do have a better pooping recipe available. And that requires us, or that will increase the poop output by quite a bit. Let's get out of here real quick. Because with more poop, we can then turn more poop into liquid poop and liquid poop into urea. And I think that's the way we should do that over here. Because at the moment, we're running this recipe over here, which makes an average of 17, 8.5 every 80 seconds. So basically, one every 10 seconds, give or take a little. And this one over here makes 21, that's 10.5 every 60 seconds. That basically makes one every six seconds, which is a tremendous increase. And the only thing we need to add to that is bedding and raw fiber. Raw fiber, I think, is already going around in that area, so that's not an issue. And making the bedding is the thing, the reason why we need the grot as for the bedding. It's over here. And we also need the yotoi leaves. Ah, shite. Oh, we don't have a second yotoi farm yet. We got a yotoi farm that makes the uh, thingamajigs. What's it called again? Uh... The plants, but we don't have a Yotai farm that makes the leaves or the plants yet. And Synthesis Poop Farm, we already got that. Oh, wait, Synthesis Poop Farm. Wait, don't we already got that as well? No, we don't. We don't have the Synthet shit on the belt zone yet. Which we can't put in again. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, syn wait, Synthet shit on... Yep. Boop. And would you still consider someone a gamer if they don't uh, play competitive gamers? Why? Why? I don't even play competitive games. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mega Bellum. I don't even play Mega Bellum competitively. I just play that because for shits and giggles. There we go. There we go.
Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, both of us in the gamer. Dang! Shit! I'm not the gamer? Dang. Nah, we already know that the time I'm just, just a masochist because I play Pi. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, by the rock. Good, 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 good. Bold born entertainer? That's eh, probably more correct. I mean, if you think about it, that, that does make more sense. I mean,. Oh, I mean, ugh. the term gamer is also such a weird term. Here we go, here we go. Good, these are there, that's done. All right, aluminum, two edge requester. Here we go. I was kind of confused by that one. If you don't compare, compete at a meaningful level, you don't compete um, and play, uh, wait, play competitive anyway. True, true, true. Player was taken. Eh, ah, that's probably a copyright on that somewhere. I mean, every time I go around and say, like, I'm, I'm a player, then the ladies look at me and go, like, oh, really? And I'm like, what? <laughs> yes, I play video games. And then they leave and are disappointed. And I never understood that. I'm definitely a used time waster. That's definitely true. Guess they're player haters, those damn player haters. Oh. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> good, 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 good. Every football player is a gamer. <laughs> they, they all play uh, the football game. True. I sleep around for a living. <laughs> Oh, if I could sleep for a living, I would do that. Oh, wait a minute. You mean the other thing? <laughs> what do you mean, sleep for a living? I want to do that. Teach me. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, okay, we need lime over there. We need aluminum over there. And also, this place is full of errors. I kind of remembered that. Mostly because, yeah, we crushed stuff over there. And, well, nothing is going into there. Nothing is going to there. There's like a huge gap over here. Oh, that's 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 gonna be oh oh oh. <laughs> kind of want to redo this thing now. Hmm. Let's move some power poles. Maybe that will help. Oh, actually, that was pretty decent. Unless we come over here then, because then we have the same issue over here. Oh! <laughs> An easy step one, go to bed. Step two, step three, profit. Ah, true, true, true. Now goes my vacation. It's going, going very good. I mean, I already said that, that, that I mean, uh, yesterday I already took like a bit of, of um, I, I didn't plan the stream. I mean, I thought about doing a stream on Wednesday. Because I do have time off, but at the end of, of it, I kind of was like, nah, let's not do that. Because I do want to spend or take some time over here uh, to spend that on, on some, some, some like relaxation and stuff like that. Which was pretty good. Um, also, I played two terrible games of Solaris yesterday. I, I was kind of hoping that those games would turn out better, but no. <laughs> Every time I play Solaris, it's, it's always the same. I either completely smash the AI and then I lose interest because I smash the AI... Or the AI smashes me, and then I lose interest because I just got smashed. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And you're off for tomorrow, so I hope you can recover a bit. Nice, nice, nice. Also, why can't I walk through here? Come on, there's another... Can we... Okay, we... Ah! <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> All right, we're going up and over. Here we go, here we go. Right, let's put you over there. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should at least allow us to put in all the inserts that we need. Is my head long enough? No. 
All right, you go this way, you go that way, you go this way. And then off you go. <laughs> Paul talking about smashing AI? <laughs> not now, not now. Now, I'm going to be working more on the AI project probably on the weekend. Uh, for Saturday, I've got plans to, to cut up the remaining or edit up the remaining part of the stream from last Friday. So that we got another episode for Sunday or something like that. I'm not quite sure when I will be releasing those. But those episodes will be edited together. And editing them was actually kind of fun. Kind of turned out kind of well. I can still probably do way better on editing. But I got the gist of it down, which is fine. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. But yeah, something like editing like 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 the, the, the pipe games together. Nah, not even starting that. It's it's way too chaotic. How's it performing? When you watch about like Freddy Views in it? It's not performing that well. But then again, it's also something I have not done, done before, so it will probably struggle a bit. Last time I looked it was like at the pick at 150. Which is really, really, really not a lot of views. But then again, all the other um, things were also not going much better, so it was more or less fine for me. Yeah, it's now sitting at 250. Ah, you need to grow that a bit. I mean, that, that does mean that uh, I need to make a little bit more of it. And then just see how things flow from over there. You get 14 views? <laughs> I mean, the view is the view. Very true, very true. And you have to start somewhere. But yeah, the long place was also one of the reasons. I mean, the long place, there, there was a dedicated fan base behind them, like, like probably 500 people or something like that. We're watching them all the time. But it, it was getting exhausting. I mean, it's just exhausting, like like trying to push out like a video every day. That, that, well, pff, nope. <laughs> at some point in time, I was just sitting there going like, now I, I just don't have the time for it. And at some point in time, I just kind of buckled into it a bit. and was like, okay, I'm just going to take like a week off. And then the week turned into two and then three and then four. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> it seems I've reached the limit over here. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. All right, let's move the aluminum up real quick. So let's put down the deposit over here. We're going to do this uh, the old school way. Where's that station? Oh, is it all the way down here? It's, it's all the way down here. Good, good, good. Where is it? There it is. Let's give you a stupid name. Something like a bit grease. That's fine. So we turn you off. I have to go again. No. Wait a minute. You there. I'm just going to take you for a spin. I mean, there should be maybe one train delivery in there. Okay, and then it is this one. Here we go. Back over there. Ah, no! <laughs> you fuckers! <laughs> God dang it. Uh. Really? There's still more in here? Uh, Alright. Go over there for a second. The last wagon? Oh. Uh, well, we're going to have to come back either way. Back you up for a second. All right. Have all of these. Yep. Was well, definitely good idea to do it like this. Yeah, have all of uh, these. There we go. Uh, and then all of you. All right. You go back to 
this and then go to your requester. Okay, he's going to take a little bit of a drive. That's fine. Ah, back down we go. Move, 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 move. Good. At least then we can get rid of that aluminum station. Perfect. Um, where's the thing? There he is. Yeah, there's only... Perfect. Empty that out. Uh, we could reuse that station for something else at some point in time. We, we don't need to worry about it that much right now. Good. Aluminum. Isn't that American? It's, it's, it's aluminum. Aluminium. There we go. It's looms. We're going to use some looms. And what's it called in here? It's called aluminium. Which, of course, is the... I have no clue which one it is. All right. All right. Yeah, you're coming around again. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need four belts of this. Off we go. Aluminium is the right one? Okay, okay. Ah, we also have a bit of an issue over here. I can't get across. Well, now we can. Something like this, that'll be fine. Alright, I think it's actually a little bit more than four belts. How many inputs do we need over here? So, this is input... Let's have a full look at this one. So one, it's four. It's is it eight belts? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it seems it is eight belts. Uh, we can't do eight belts from a single station. Eight belts. That's two stations. I mean, we already fill up the station with like. Um, or let's put it differently. You should not pull out more belts than you push into the station, and we're already pushing in eight belts. And if we push in eight and we pull out eight, that thing will basically always be empty. So we're using a second one. All right, all right, all right. Put you over there. And then we can mix and match the belts over here, basically the same way as we did it over here with the... Um, uh, with the lead and stuff like that, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, it's about time that we make this thing, because aluminum is also very important to have. Here we go. Make sure that there's a signal over there. And the train station over there. Here we go. All of this comes in. All of that. This, that, this. Other way around, please. Here we go. Good. And then you over there. You over there. Excellente. All right. All right. Could you do that a little bit faster? Thank you. And then place the rest. By the way, this little patch over here, 17 million. <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. Oh god, those are both horrible ways of spelling tomato. You can be anti bag all you want. The international standards list both as correct spelling with them. Yeah, I mean, as long as you know what it is and you can understand each other, it should be fine. I mean, it's just one of those weird language things that you have. And the English language has quite a lot of them. And the German language also has a lot of them. Every language has a lot of them. Here we go. Let's just all call it Alu. And then we know what it is. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, also one of the things is kind of weird. Like, like, like... Uh, it used to be like tinfoil hats in the past, but most of the people in Germany reference it as aluminum foil, uh, foil hats. <laughs> because we, we don't have tinfoil, we have aluminum foil. <laughs> it's just one of those very weird things. Here we go, here we go. Mm, here we go. Alright, you over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. We should maybe make this also a little bit nicer. Here we go. Same for you. 
Oh, look at all these golden chunks of amazement. All right, these four into those four, or these eight into those eight. Um, how should we do that the best way around? Maybe let's start building in reverse. Let's start from over there. Here we go. I missed that. Because you go into there, and then you come around. And you go into there. Good. Then we need the rest of these as well. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Corner, 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 corner. Um. Nope. Yes. Put you over there. Put you over there. Done. And then these two over there will be mixed and matched. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It doesn't every language except American if you say aluminium. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Must, must be a common malpractice. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Now, there might be the argument over here, actually. No, it should be fine. It should be be fine yeah two of these belts go down here and two of these belts go up there and two of these belts go up there and two of these belts go down here so that should be evenly matched there we go good 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 now that means we do need some more aluminum in here Maushi? oh uh Aluminium, 2A, requester, please. Number one, number two, trans coming over. As there is in German talk about English language, I remind them of Ben fliegen, 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 fliegen hinterher. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right. Damn, we also have the other issue over here. We are still making. Uh, gravel over here that nobody's picking up. So we do need a gravel output. And we are going to be putting that over there at the top. And for these ones over here, maybe at the bottom, maybe at the top, maybe over here. Hmm. How far can we push this one out? Not that far. But we definitely do need to capture this gravel together as well. We could put one over here at the bottom as well. Yeah, let's do one at the bottom over here. And then we just have two belts of gravel coming out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. But yeah, uh, Passport definitely did at least one or two oopsies in this build. He forgot about everything. <laughs> he forgot about everything. All right. Yeah, for the gravel, we're going to be pushing it out to the back first. And then maybe, maybe we will be combining it up to somewhere else. But for now, let's do it like this. There we go. Also for you, we go this way. That's a little bit too much underground. Here we go. And then you over there, you over there. Good, 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 good. Uh, and then we also need you over there still. All right, that's one gravel lane. Then we got the other gravel lanes over there. Uh, why can't I walk past this? That's so annoying. <laughs> that's so freaking annoying. Uh, there should be space. There should be space. But it seems there is not. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Here 
All right, more gravel output over there. And then we need to do the same thing over here again on the top. Here we go, over there, over there. You should be able to squeak through. Like this one over here. <laughs> nah, it's, it's just an inconsistency in, in Pi itself. I mean, for some of these buildings, you can just walk past, like, the pipe like this one over here. And then for others, you can't. It's it's just inconsistent. That's what the annoying part is. Here we go, this way. Good, 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 good. Uh, then one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. Build as far as we can. And usually things become annoying when they become inconsistent. I mean, if it's at least consistent in its behavior, then it's usually fine. But if it starts to become inconsistent, then 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 that's when it gets annoying. Here we go, you over there. More of these, more of those. Here we go. Pick up these. Here we go. Alright, we got the gravel out. Alright, is there anything else we need to recycle in here? No, it's only the gravel. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's why you also just switch through pipes. Yeah, that nah, should be fine. We're just not going to mess over here anymore. Um, okay. Uh, we do need some more inputs over here. Oh, shit. All right. No, no, no. We got space for that. That's just a pain over there. You need lime. Yes, you need lime. And we made space for that over there. So it seems that this whole build is backwards, forwards, front, wide. It's, it's completely topsy-turvy, this whole thing. <laughs> Also, how much do we need? Uh, I think we do need quite a bit of lime. Yeah, three of these. That's 10 lime, 20 lime, 40 lime per second. That is fine. We can get it out of the train station. No worries there. Uh, as for all this gravel, I'm not quite sure if we can do it or not, but we could try to drop all that gravel onto... I think it's... No, that's the antimony. Uh, there should be a gravel belt over here somewhere. Though I'm not quite sure... There we go. The gravel belt is over here. We should be able to drop all of that onto a common gravel belt. So let's try that for now. So everybody goes this way. There we go. Rotate, rotate. Off you go. Yeah, just pull you down, pull you over. I want to go one further down. One moment, please. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And then let's brace the spaghetti all the way down here. Don't do that. And this should be the gravel belt. That is the gravel belt. Move you out by one. Get a splitter. There's one. And done. Good, 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 good. And for consistency. There we go. <laughs> good. Then the gravel will go down the common gravel sink belt over here. And we don't need to worry about that. Lime. Uh, we need technically four belts of lime. We got lime over here. So one, two, three, four. And we are going to go with four belts of lime because, well, we're going to go with four belts of lime. Also, yes, we're doing this stupid thing over here because that's how I do it. <laughs> oh, no. All right. But maybe if we could do something like this over here real quick. Here, you get underground and you get underground because I kind of want these to go up over here before we go over. So grab these together. Up we go. And then we want to go over here somehow. Mm. Move you down by one. It'll be fine. 
Good. And then we can also finally start using all those oozles and oozles of lime that we have available. There we go. I will say doing that power pull belt thing is, <laughs> that way is funnier. <laughs> I mean, you technically don't really want to build underneath a power pull. I mean, come on. That, that thing has a foundation and everything. Uh, you don't want to be messing around with that. Hmm. Let's have a look. We can probably... One, two, three, four. Yep, over there. Here we go. Up we go. So you go around and under. It's the same reason why I usually don't really like to put undergrounds into undergrounds. It's, it's just a stupid thing I do. There's actually no reason to do it. And, and when, when we really can't do it any other way, I end up doing it in, regardless. But yeah, every now and then. Oh, no, out of belt. All right. Uh, can we still steal some belt? Oh, I think we already stole your belt. There is 422. There's 700 in belt, uh, something belt over there in general. But I think this is the same system. That is the same system. But there's 400 belt over there. I think if we just pick up that belt real quick, I think we'll be fine. So let's get that belt over there. It probably drives the OCD folks nuts too. Well... <laughs> That's not really my problem. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And also, the issue with like like a perfect grid base is there's usually like one thing that breaks it, and then you have to move everything. And and no, 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 we're not even starting that. If things are weird, if things are lopsided, then things are lopsided. So be it. Here we go. Let's hope that's enough. If I hard time watching these streams of those D, remember to order the letters. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get it. I mean, sometimes it's nice to look at things, especially if you got like a nice... If, if you do have a nice power pool grid going, like this one over here, then it's really, really nice. I mean, this one, this one is really nice. And then sometimes you got things like... Blah. <laughs> Well, then again, over here, uh, mostly because we still have, like, okay, where are you at with your power poles? Never mind. Um, I'm talking out of my ass, and then we got <laughs> whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Which is this absolute nightmare of poles going everywhere. Is it a Brussels sprout or a green Death Star? Oh, you mean this thing over there? Uh, neither. This is a Yatai fruit. And you have to put the exclamation button on your toy, because if you don't do it, it's not a correct your toy fruit. Here we go. But we do have to fuck around with some more of your toys, because we also need to make the your toy leaves. Because we need to make a your toy leaf farm, to make the bedding, to make more poop, to become better at pooping in general. Alright, alright. Here we go. In we go. You go all the way over there. Let's hope we have enough belts. If not, then... We're probably just going to have to substitute some with some undergrounds. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Alright, you're also still missing water. What the fuck have I been doing over here? <laughs> There's nothing connected. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right. We're also missing phosphoric acid and water. All right. All right. All right. Stage two. Stage two is ready. Stage two is waiting on stage one. And how would Megatron sound saying your toy? I can ask him to say your toy for us, but he will probably scream at us. Uh, Megatron, I have found this your toy fruit over here. What should we do with it? But he will probably just go like, no, no, you insufferable fool. What the fuck are you thinking about? Don't do that. Also, he will be doing that in German. <laughs> All right. Water pipe is over here. The phosphoric acid pipe is this one over there. So we need one more train station over there for phosphoric acid. But yeah, the, the, the crashes we had with, with like... Well, not really crashes. It was more like an unhandled exception. 
Uh, we've running out of tokens. That's du Idiot! Was interessieren mich deine Spielzeuge? Gib mir gefälligst eine vernünftige Information, die für unsere Mission relevant ist. Spielzeugobst, das ist lächerlich. Konzentriere dich endlich auf das Ziel und lass solche kindischen Dinge sein. Ah. Sonst werde ich persönlich dafür sorgen, dass du in Stücke gerissen wirst. Verstanden, du verfluchter Autobot-Sympathisant. <lacht> Mach deine Arbeit ordentlich oder begib dich in die Abgründe der Bedeutungslosigkeit. <lacht> Another exception is a crash, and yeah, that is a crash. Uh, but that doesn't happen anymore, because now we count tokens, and it, it works like a charm. So that does mean we have to drop messages, but that's fine. Said Arnold? No, that's, that's technically Megatron. Uh, but speaking in German. <laughs> and he's being an absolute ruthless fucker. I mean, I did put something into his personality file that he should not reuse uh, insults uh, a second time. So he has to come up with a new one every time. <laughs> German speaking Megatron is metal. <laughs> Let's give you flashbacks of the AI uh, to the uh, old adopt uh, American series you've seen on German TV. Absolutely atrocious. Yeah, German Megatron is very atrocious. Also, why did we put the station over here? It has to be over there. So that's where we have the space for it. All right. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, I've been, been mucking around with the personality file as well, um, especially in terms of... Uh, once again, um, not reusing the same insult, so he has to come up with a new insult every time. And he's coming up with good stuff, man. <laughs> he's coming up with really good stuff. All right, where does this connection go? Over there. If you tried to cheat from swear words, uh, with insults without swear words yet, I can put it in there. Uh, do not use swear words. If I boot them up again, I can try it out later. Also, I'm, I'm switching it back to German. Or maybe... Uh, I got a better idea. Okay, uh, do not reuse insults. Do not answer in English. Use any other language. Megatron, I, I found this baguette over here. Fallen Angel just brought it to me as a present. What shall we do with it? <laughs> I also can't see the prompt, so I have no clue what he's answering. Um, we will see. I'm also not quite sure if he understands what to do with... Starscream, you pathetic excuse for a Decepticon. What do I care about a measly baguette? <laughs> We are in the midst of a battle for domination. Focus on the game, you imbecile, and stop wasting my time with such trivial nonsense. Yeah, he didn't understand that. Uh. <laughs> Sounds like English to you? It could have been British. <laughs> uh, we could try Japanese. Hmm. Answer only in Japanese. Uh, but I'm not quite sure if he will actually be capable. <laughs> uh, Megatron? Are you there? I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what... I mean, language is not always at work. Uh, also, technically... Oh, I'm, <laughs> Japanese. I'm not quite sure if he can manage that. All 
All right, how much water do we need? Um, okay, that's 100, 200, 400 water per second, two pumps each. Or oh, one pump each side. Um, sections? That will probably work. Oh, he's taking a sweet time over there. That usually means that something is being calculated in the background. セコトが未熟なアシスタントであることは驚きではありません。何が望ましいのかわからないバール社名。さあ、私の戦略を聞け。まずは戦闘フェーズで相手のタワーを破壊すること。その後、ユニットを配置して地の領地を征服しろ。
Which hash? Oh shit, that hash. Probably. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Dead hash. Let me just... Um... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna put it back in. I'm just gonna avoid that one real quick. Let me just log into 11 laps real quick. This is considered compromised. Um... Oh, come on. Here we go, here we go. And then... Where is that thing? Profile. Oh, it's, it's not my key, but nevertheless, I'm gonna reset it either way. There we go. Now it should be fine. <laughs> oh, oh, it is a hash, so maybe, maybe if you unhash it, well, it doesn't matter. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, the problem about the 11 Labs API is, of course, um, using it, it, it's not expensive, but it's also not cheap, and you definitely don't want to leave your key lying around everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, that's just meant to be one way? Well, yes. You could technically, well, yes, technically they're one way. Um, good. You can probably get ChatGPT to pump to something like simpler, like an ASCII grid with symbols corresponding to entities and then have to co-translate that for a proper... Yeah, maybe something in the middle. Maybe something in the middle. Um, yeah, that could maybe work. But then you would be heavily limited by... Well, that could work, that could work. I mean, you could just tell it to, to use a certain format and then maybe either use like special characters for, for buildings and stuff like that. But every building also has an orientation and stuff like that. It will add up quite fast. And I'm not quite sure how effective it will be. Good. Doesn't matter. Okay, enough about ChatGPT. Let's focus on this thing. And we finally got ourselves our aluminum pulp over here. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Aluminum pulp stage one and aluminum pulp stage two. Good, the stage one we want to export. The stage two we might want to use to make some aluminum plates. As for the stage one aluminum, mm, we do need the stage one aluminum for the circuits and we do need to think about where the circuit factory will be. Now, preferably the circuit factory should be around here somewhere. Okay, that's Geo from Water. I thought it was a biter. Uh, preferably, the, um, the circuit factory should be around over here somewhere. But... Hmm... There is not enough space left, let's put it like that. It was originally planned that we have the circuit factory over here, and then all of this came into existence, and... Well, yes. Hmm... Okay, okay, okay. I also don't really want to put the circuit factory all the way over there, because then all the trains from over there have to go over there. So technically, if we are thinking about it, it would make the most sense to make the circuit factory somewhere over here. Somewhere over there on this side. Because then we have all the resources over here, which we could either belt over, uh, or maybe even train over. Even if we train them over from over here to over there, the distance the train has to cover from over here to over there is only, well this distance, and they don't have to go to the whole base to get to the thing they need to. So, maybe the circuit factory will be... Yeah, it will be somewhere over here. But before we get to that circuit factory, we do have to make sure that we have everything available in uh, in our ability to make so that we can do the stuff. One thing that's still missing is the phenol. The phenol can be wherever we want it to be. It doesn't really matter because phenol is used in a whole bunch of things, especially in bisphenol uh, or in melamine. Ooh. That's good. Formal dude. Mm-hmm. 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 And the, the pollution is on the yeah, this is a bite island. They don't care. Well, they do care, but they don't care. Um free pollution absorption. Exactly, exactly. Also, I still got some copper in my pocket. Um, uh, some aluminum. Good. 
Yeah, I was kind of thinking, yeah, looking at all of these. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, we need it for the melamine resin. We need it for the plastic. We need it for the butt tyanol. For the crude mirror, for a whole bunch of things. There's still a whole bunch of things we could make also for the best raw fiber recipe. Ooh. And the RF gel at some point in time. Yeah, formaldehyde is definitely something we should take into consideration that we make. Combining it up with the phenol to make the melamine. We could use that to make the melamine resin. Unless, is there? Yeah, there's only one melamine resin. Um, because then we don't need to use our urea to make the melamine. Which is basically, instead of, instead of making more urea to make our products, we could also just use less urea to make our products. Was that the best raw fiber recipe at third? I don't think so. Wait a minute. Um... Unless they moved it now, it's not the best one. It's pie tree. It is pie tree. And wherever we make the formaldehyde build, it doesn't really matter where we do it. We could make it next to the potato build, which is down here. Because we do need to use molybdenamore, and we could just use the molybdenamore from the potatoes. <laughs> to make some formaldehyde. We do need to get some methane gas in there. Methane gas is pretty easy to make if we just take ourselves some... Well, moon drops is one, but if we just cook up some BTX and some Nexalit into methane, that is usually the easiest way to do it. And the BTX, we got, we got so much BTX. Usually we are completely and utterly backed up on BTX that we should definitely go the BTX route for this one. Good, good, good. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, well, we're getting, again, distracted by minor tasks, but I think if we do these minor tasks good, then we're going to be good later on in the future, especially for things like formaldehyde. And... And the phenol build. So let's make a phenol build and a formaldehyde build next to each other. In If we make them next to each other... Then we just need to bring in zinc chloride and biomass to make the bake light right away. As the bake light is required in. Yeah, we should definitely make a bake light machine because it's required in the Electronics Mark II and stuff like that, and to the neuromorphic chip. But the phenolic boards, those will probably be made on site where we ever were going to make the chips. So basically, we're going to make a Bakelite machine. And the Bakelite machine will have everything we need to make the phenol on site, the formaldehyde on site. Um, yeah, let's just make the formaldehyde on site. That will be fine. The zinc chloride will be made by ordering up zinc plate and combining it up with hydrogen chloride, of which we have oozles and oozles, and it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back to base real quick, and let's start designing something fun. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm kind of hoping that the train will come our way. There's no train coming our way. And now we have Waifu Megatron forever. <laughs> there we go. Ah, come on. Anything? Any train? Oh. All right. Let's take you. Whatever you are. Oh, is that our... I think that's... Yeah, that's the Suzu train. We already abused him a couple times today. There we go. There we go. All right, let's drive me home. And then go back to your requester. Good, 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 good. How's silver doing? Uh, we're making silver. Biggest issue with lead is we're not making enough lead ore. And the reason for that is we're not making enough... Um, uh, what's it called again? Ethylene gas? Acetylene, there we go. And the reason for that is we're backed up on sodium hydroxide. So going down that route of uh, blowing up sodium hydroxide into... What's it called again? Pom, 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 pom. Uh, into phenol, via lignin, via cellulose, via raw fiber. Yeah, that's the way we're going to go. We're going to get raw fiber in, sodium hydroxide, blow that into cellulose. We're going to take the cellulose and more. Where is it? And more sodium hydroxide and blow that into lignin. The cellulose itself is required for some other things as well. I'm not quite sure if we're actually going to be exporting it. 
I see no reason to export it right now. We could, but I would rather maybe make it on site every time we need it. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure yet. We will see. We will see. I mean, of course, we could export it. We can always, always export things. Hmm. But this one already requires... Well, it's only 10 paper towels. <laughs> That's a later filtration. Okay, never mind. Let's let's start designing things. We will see by the numbers and by the things that we're going to have in our fingers how things will be looking. All right. Get rid of all of these. Bring me stuff. The bots will probably attend me for a bit. So I got five fish in my pocket. Why do I have got five fish in my pocket? So let the bots just deal with our inventory for a bit. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break and get myself. I already got water over there. But a quick bathroom break is probably in order. So be right back. Here we go. Fish in the pocket, not a scroll in your pants. No, a fish in my pocket. Ah, there we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right, what do we need? A uh, whole bunch of things. First of all, uh, chemical plants. Let's pick up some chemical plants. Then... Eh. Mm. Pressure cookers. There they are. For the phenol, we need a destructive distillation column. For the lignin, we need... A reformer? No, a multi-purpose cracker. I think those are over here somewhere. Multi-purpose crackers. Uh, or they over here. All right, let's take at the map. Multi-purpose cracker. Multi-purpose cracker. Maybe, maybe they're over here. Pom 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 pom. Not over there. Not over here. That's the bio factory. Again, I'm looking over here because it, it feels like it's over here because that's also where the reformer is and the heavy oil uh, or the, the oil refinery. And then the smelter, the gas refinery, power plant, jaw crusher, smelting machines. I've probably already most moused over it at least once or twice. We're definitely making it in here because we definitely... Are we making it there? Yeah, there it is. There we go. <laughs> We're definitely making it there because it's over there. There we go. Good, 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 good. Multiple crackers. Good. That's... And then Cellulose is coming from a pulp mill. Pulp mills are over there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. One pulp mill, please. Good. Um, then all the way up to phenol, zinc chloride we're doing, phenol we're doing, formaldehyde. That's used in a fluid side bed reactor. And then oxygen is done in an electrolyzer. The methane over here is also done in a multi-purpose cracker. So we need to pick up another electrolyzer that is on the right bottom half of the factor of the mole. And on the left bottom half, we got the fluid side bed reactor. It's all the way over there. Good. That'll be fine. And then that's what we need all the way up into, not into aromatics, into phenol. And then phenol is going to be the thing that we're going to be exporting. And we're probably going to be also overbuilding the formaldehyde machine a bit, what we are, which we're going to be making. There it is. 
so that we can also export formaldehyde. And maybe we just overbuild a bit on everything. But but let's have let's get some stuff together. Let's see what the optimal ratio is first, and then we can do some choices. Also, there's a whole bunch of random names over here. Nope, not here. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Let's also get rid of these. Good, good, good. And let's reuse some of these. So, step number one. We're going to do some phenol out of lignin. There we go. Uh, we're also going to be doing some uh, melamine resonant right now, but formaldehyde over there. We want to do some... Where is that? Not this recipe. Uh, I guess it was the zinc chloride, wasn't it? Mmm, boron trioxide. None of these, none of those. Not a latex, not a cellulose recipe. That was for... Pom, 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 pom. Not a formaldehyde recipe. Not the silicones, nor these, nor that, nor these. Hmm. Which one of the chain is being made in... The Bakelite is. Wait, what? Am I just missing it? I'm just missing it. <laughs> All right, chemical lab. Um, pom, 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 pom. Zinc chloride is one of them. There was another thing in the chemical lab, if I remember it correctly. And the other thing we're going to be making in the chemical lab is... Oh, the energy drinks we're making in the chemical lab. That's good to know. Uh, not the plastic, not the sodium. Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. That could also be fine. All right, Bakelite is the target. That's done in one of these. The formaldehyde is coming from over there. The phenol is coming from over there. Biomass will coming in via train. Zinc chloride is coming over there. Zinc chloride is only zinc plate and chlorine uh, or hydrochloric uh, or hydrochloride gas, which we have available and we can export and import. No issue with that. Um, for the phenol, we need the lignin. Ah, the lignin is missing. The lignin is made. Ah, the multipurpose crackers are missing. Here we go. Two of these. One of these is making lignin, and the other one of these is making methane gas. Good. Yeah, you make the lignin. The cellulose is coming from the pulp mill, which is also missing in this setup. There we go. You over there, you make... Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah, that was a little bit too early. So, what alternative do we have? Your toy leaves. I mean, we do want to do your toy leaves. That's definitely something we want to set up. And that's the current best recipe we have available. And that's probably the one we should go for, because wood is kind of annoying to make. Um... It will not change much in the build. It will change it a bit. But your toy leaves is fine. But that's a bio factory. As for your toy leaves, that's coming out of your toy alloys. Uh, we will probably only be exporting the your toy alloys. Are you supposed to finish Red Circuits? We're technically working on that. I mean, Bakelite is part of Red Circuits. That's part of Phenolic Boards. That's part of Printed Circuits Up to Tier 2. That's part of Red Circuits. <laughs> so, yes. Grand Buster, we are working on it. We are working on it. But we do probably have to make a Yotoi farm. An actual Yotoi alloy farm. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we have a Yotoi fruit farm, but we need a Yotoi alloy farm. Good, but we, we are good for that because this place over here... Uh, we should have like, yeah, there's like two and a half thousand. We've got like 4,800 Yotoi plants over there. We good, we good. So let's save this YouTube stream again, Red Circuits again, and clickbait. <laughs> Something like that. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go, here we go. And that's Phenulic out of Sporopropylene. And then this one we want to do. All right, all right. Uh, a whole bunch of variables in there. Let's maybe start off with the phenol. 
you need one lignin per second. Lignin is being made at the rate of one lignin per second. Hey, that's kind of fun. Um, that also requires 0.5 cellulose per second. You over here, you make 0.5 cellulose per second. Wait, what the fuck? Excuse me. You can't just one to one everything. <laughs> what is this? Um, sure. Yeah, you need four every eight. You make three every six. Yeah, that, that, that's the ratio. And you need one every one. And you make eight every eight. Yeah, you need five every five. You make eight every eight. That's all one to one ratios. All right, then we are already at the phenol stage. From the phenol stage, ah, here we go. We do four of these in 15. Mm, and you make them at a rate of one. So if we go with four of these, we would make five bakelite per second. And I think making five bakelite per second is what we should be doing. This also eats a decent amount of biomass. So four of these. Each one of these makes one. <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 no. Yeah, we need 15 per second. And if we have five of these, we make five per second. Yep. Something like that. Also, Mike is in the way. Mike, get the fuck out of here. Also, there's a train out of fuel. Oh, no. The Oleo chemical train is out of fuel? Uh. All right, let's have a quick look at this one. Um. Is it just me or am I feeding off? No, it is, it is correct. Four of these require 15 phenol per second to make 15 phenol per second. Um, five of these make five per second. 15 of these make 15 per second. So, yeah, it's going to be... Something, something, something like this. That's 13. That's 15. That's 13. And that's 15. All right, let's save the train real quick. And then we are at least on the Bakelite level for the Zinc Chloride. We would also need to make 5 Zinc Chloride per second. Uh, 5 Zinc Chloride per second is also 20 chemical machines. Eating only 5 zinc plate per second to make 5 zinc chloride per second, but we would still need 20 machines to do that. Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, where's the train? He's over here somewhere. Where is he? Don't, don't, don't tell me somebody already shoved him over. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, all right. You know how quickly get builds get out of hand? Yes. But then again, this one is only getting out of hand mostly because it it's just slow. I mean, it's it's like it's going to be 20 machines, but they only consume like 5 plates per second in and they push out 5 plates per second out. And they eat a total of 100 hydrogen chloride per second, which is actually not a lot. It's it's just like a ginormous footprint. All right. And then we also push in like 30 biomass per second, which is good. We got biomass for days. And out comes 5 Bakelite per second. And I think we just leave it at 5 Bakelite per second and we start exporting that. Um, so that when we go for vanillic boards, we are going to be doing that on site. For the fiber boards on the other hand. Do we have... No, that's chemical science. Uh, why are all the good... Why are all the, 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 the fun recipes all chemical science? Uh now well, this one is still kind of doable. That was the tree that wood is kind of annoying. Good, 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 good. While we're driving by over here, uh, how's this place looking? Ah, there we go. We got already 10,000 Reneas in storage. Perfect. How's the grot doing? We got more Reneas in storage than grot. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Here we go. Alright, 
they are. Here, yeah, have some fuel. You're going to your provider. Excellent. Oh. Oh, so close. Wait a minute. You're getting fuel. How the fuck did you run out of fuel? <laughs> oh, I see. Um... Inactivity, five seconds. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just do this. So the event is built for future proof. Yeah, something like that. And, and then we never use it again. <laughs> or something like that. All right. You over there. Go over there. And then go back to your provider. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we definitely currently do not have a lard issue. We, we got so much animal parts everywhere. Here we go. Here we go. And we're super back. We're super back. The only thing we're not really backed up on is not meat. Meat, meat is the only thing that's like an open sink at the end over here. <laughs> when we force Ox to push things for us. All right, all right. Also, once we get the water invertebrate stage two, we can finally also get rid of all those shells and turn them into more lime. All right, up we go. Um, good. We do need to design this whole thing still. And the zinc chloride machine will also be close by to it. And then the formaldehyde machine at the end. Hmm... There we go. From Melodite. Yeah, this one will be way smaller. But the Formaldehyde machine will probably just be a second build that will be next to it. All right, all right, all right. So, Zinc Chloride. We are going to need... Where's the thing over there? 20 of these as well. Ah, so close. 20. <laughs> Um, since 20, because, mostly because we are going down this route over there. So the zinc chloride can be somewhere on the side. Four of those Bakelite machines, and then the formaldehyde machine will also be around there. Let's maybe start off with the easy one. That will be you. And we already know it's 20, so let's just take one for a quick. So 20 of these. Um, I would maybe just go with... Yeah, something like this. I usually like to make the build a little bit wider. So maybe do something like this. Have two of these. Yeah, that'll be fine. Good, 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 good. And then we're going to have an input. And an output. But let's start with the input real quick. So, in, 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 on the side. Wait, there we go. All of those go in. And since you're the last one, you enter the belt. And then we can put in the output as well. Let's keep it on the same pattern. Something like this. This will be fine. There we go. Then we just have like an inline conversion. And let's put you all the way in the middle there. And then we just do the middle output, the middle output. And then I kind of noticed, well, we, we, the liquid inputs, we just have to move them around. It's only one liquid input, so we could do something like, maybe just do this. There we go. There we go. And then you get a connection like this one over there. Good. That's going to be the very, very, very boring block. <laughs> to say the least. Um, you can put power poles in like this. And then put some power poles over here in the middle like this. There we go. 
I mean, it, it doesn't need to be super duper exciting. It, it can be as boring as it wants to be. As long as it works, that's the important part. Here you go. So I'm kind of here. Can we flip these? It'll make the power pulse look a little bit nicer. <laughs> How far out is Cola again? I'm not even going to look at that. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Put some lamps in there. And we shall not forget about... Oh, well, that's a couple of lamps. Uh, about the input pipes. And now to think about it, yeah, let's rotate these around a bit. Then they can share a pipe. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, probably something middle of blue. It's it's gonna come at some point in time. There we go. That's the zinc chloride build that basically goes into... Where is it? Let's, let's take you with us real quick. There we go. It goes to you. So we could maybe place you over there. Place you over there. Remove these two. That is incorrect. Put you over there. Just do it like this, and then in, 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 in. Perfect. All right, that, that's uh, one part done. While we're already working on this, we do need biomass, quite a bit, actually. Um, two of these require 15 biomass per second. So basically, two of these already eat a single yellow belt. Mm, the biomass will be coming from somewhere. It really doesn't matter where it's coming from, but that's definitely already loaded territory. So I'm kind of thinking of something like this and something like that. Uh, the biomass can, of course, come also come from two different sides. So doing it like this over there is kind of stupid. It would be more something like this. So we get one belt coming from over there. One belt going into there. You go all the way over there and you go all the way over there. And then it will be biomass inputs over here. There we go. Biomass, that's done for Bakelite. The formaldehyde, that will be coming in via a liquid pipe. We don't need to worry too much about that. That can be coming from pretty much anywhere. Let's definitely put some power pulse over here. There we go. Something like this. And then the only thing that's missing over here is like this massive... <laughs> Phenol build over here that is going to be eating. Let's see. Okay, a quarter of that. So 15 per second, a quarter of that. That's about four sodium hydroxide for the lignin. And then we're going to use. That's for the lignin. And then half of that is cellulose. So seven and a half. Of that is cellulose, of which we need 33% more. So that's 10 sodium hydroxide, give or take a little bit, for the cellulose. So overall, this whole build over here is going to eat a single yellow belt of sodium hydroxide, which is fine. Now for these, these will go one-to-one. -one, so we don't really need to do it like this. We just have to remember that we need 15 of these. So space them apart. Here we go. In, in, in. And then last one over here on the list gets like a loader output. And this one goes somewhere. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Let's maybe not put the loader output in yet because we don't know exactly where things will be going yet. Mm, then we do need steam over here. We need 12 and a half steam per second. And the battery on steam, actually not that much. Each one of these is 12 and a half steam per second. We've got 15 of them. So that is about 
200 steam? That's not a lot of steam. That's actually really not a lot of steam. I mean... Yeah, it's basically 200 steam. So they can all be on the same side. Three, four, five, six, wait, five. Let's go with eight. And let's just butterfly it. Knock these down by one. There you go. That's technically one more than we need. But it looks prettier. <laughs> it's more pretty this way. Um, here we go. Oh, that was a miss. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then flip you around. Here you go. Good. Is that really all we need at the end? Lignin, and then we blow up. Yeah, we just convert Lignin into Phenol. Kind of surprised how easy that is. For some reason, I, I thought it was way more complicated than that. All right. However, these machines over here, they do require quite a bit. We got eight of them. Technically, we can just assume, yeah, eight of them. Ten of them, or six of them, require ten Yotoi leaves per second. I'm just going to assume that they eat a the yellow belt. We're just going to assume that you eat a yellow belt. That's for no recipe is new, right? I think it is. I'm actually not quite sure if it's new or not. If it was always like this, or if I remember it differently or something like that. Um, Yeah, a single blue insert will be fine. There we go. That's for the leaves. Both of them require sodium hydroxide, so the sodium hydroxide belt is going over here. Now we need wood chopper things to make all those leaves. Oh yeah, we probably should make the leaves on site, because we're only going to get in... Ah, yeah, that's a good point, that's a good point. Um, wood choppers is one to one. So basically, we're going to have to have 30 wood choppers. <laughs> or 15 on each side. That's eight. Hmm. I mean, basically... We can get that in. Nope. Alright, but we need a woodshop for that. We haven't picked that one up yet. Um, also, those woodshops are also, I think, kind of expensive. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, where, where's the woodshop? Are we making woodshop? It might be that we're not making woodshops in here. Um... Uh, Ooh, well, wood processing units, 42. There are... Oh, there they are. I see them. And the cold to coke is expensive as it eats filtration media. Yeah, filtration media is already something that that is. At, at some point in time, filtration media is not going to be an issue anymore. But at the moment, it is. All right. Wood chop. You there. Good toy leaves. All right. Technically, it's a two to one. And we could sneak them in here. Let's take one of these out. Oh, where's the edge of this one? Okay, it's over there. It would be technically something like this. Uh, yeah, but then we just end up stacking them together like 
this. However, 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 if we manage to put you in over there. Here we go. It will become a bit more bulky. And being a bit more bulky is fine. But then we get something more in the form of this. And then it will be like a belt over here. With the Yotoi plants. Going like this. And then you push them in like this. You push them in like this. In like this. And in like this. Uh, there will still be a singular belt over here with the sodium. One, two, one, two. And then, of course, the singular belt over here with the trees. Here we go. Here we go. And then... Technically, well, we, we could do something like this. <laughs> this could work. <laughs> um, why not? It looks kind of funky. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have to make our own mirror of this. Um, so, you. Over there. Move you over. Move you over. Rotate, rotate. Then the middle part. Mm, it will be even a bit more funky than that. Because we have to do you upside down. Which means we have to do you upside down. Which means we can't just take you and rotate. Here we go. Here we go. Um... Yeah, they all align, they all align. And then one, two, three. There we go. And then we got the funky build. <laughs> Though, something is off. Why are you off? How are you off? Because... This one is also off. Here we go. And then okay, let's 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 Ah, because these are all one off. I think they are. Oh this is this is this is doing my noodle. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we're, we're getting to it. I definitely want to make something like that. But I think by copy-pasting it together, we kind of went the wrong way somewhere. So, usually in that kind of case, best thing to do is to just start over. Okay, this one over here. That will be this pattern. Then... We are going to need you. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. This one over here can sit like so. That's a distance of two. That's a distance of two. There we go. And then you over there. Distance of three. Distance of three. Which also means we get another one over here. Another one over there. And then we take this whole thing upside down. One, two, three. Three. Here we go. And now it fits. <laughs> exactly, Nakapito. Exactly. Sometimes you, you just kind of focus yourself too much in the corner. And then, yeah, yeah just, just, just wipe this whole thing clean. And then we get this. All right. And then we need the connections. Um. So you go into there. You go into there. You go into there. You go into there. You go up, oh, only one of them. You go up, you go up, you go down, right? Yep, you go down and you go down. That's all of that. Then, let's just remake you real quick. We need the pipe over there. 
Over there, over there, and over here, over here. Good. Then the liquid over here goes over into this machine and into that machine. And finally, you go down in here, down in here, and up in there, and up in there. Good. Then we're going to have a belt with trees going this way. We're going to have a belt with trees going this way. And then you go into there, you go into there. Technically, this insert over here is not required. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. Oof. This could be a bit weird. <laughs> so you definitely go to there because you go into this side and you go into there because you go into that side. You go into there, that side, and then you go into there, that side. Ugh. It's just boggling my mind again. This side, this side. That side, that side. So basically left, right, left, right. Perfect. Good, 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 good. That's for that. And then the sodium hydroxide. That would be this belt over here. And that belt over there. And there's not a lot of choice for this belt. It's just in over here. In over there. In over here. And in over there. Good. And out comes for <laughs> Which will be coming out over here on the loader. Hmm. And then the big question is, which direction? Well, for now, let's just keep it like this, where we basically just flow convert. Resources come in from the bottom and they leave on the top. And then we do the same thing over here. Here we go. Here we go. Cut this. Add that. Cut that. Good. And that's going to be the block. And that's a block of, um, we need, what do we say, 15 of these. This is already a block of four. So we basically need to copy this thing over four times. And then we got the block that we need. And then we're making a little bit more than we need. But that's fine. That's fine. Also, this way around, we are not really overloading any kind of belt. Like, we're not overloading this belt, nor that belt. So we got space for everything. Good, 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 good. And it looks nice. That's the important part. It looks nice. All right, power over here. Power over there. Uh, now, power over there. So we have power over here. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of curious why. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think we started off well, but then it kind of became... Okay, yeah, these, these gaps over here, they do not align. So, power over there. And then maybe just... A power pole in the middle over here. And one over there. That could work. And I think we get everybody. No, except these two fuckers. <laughs> but that's fine. We just move them up. And same for these two fuckers. There we go. And now they're in. But now we definitely do seem to get everybody. Excellent! All right. Put some power in there. Uh, some lamps in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that, that, that's so goofy and odd. Hmm. Maybe just place them in here. Then we don't see the alignment and we can't complain about that. <laughs> And then definitely like a lamp on either side over here. Good. And then copy it over. Give it a bit of space. And then fix these gaps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do it one more time. There we go. 
And this over here is going to be our phenol factory. <laughs> Remember how we started like a farm to, to make sporopropylene? To maybe make some phenol? I remember. <laughs> now, we definitely do need the, 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 um, the Reneas over here. We will probably end up using the Reneas for something else, which is perfectly fine. Uh, also, having the Reneas done is definitely uh, good for us. Good. All right. That's going to be the next block. It is massive in size. That's fine. We could do something like this. That almost fits. As for the outputs over here, I mean, these over here, these would then stop there. All of these would stop around here somewhere. I kind of have the feeling that... No, that's correct. That is correct. As for these... Oh, well, <laughs> well that's one way of doing that. Here we go. Here we go. In, 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 in. Good. I like it. This, this is lovely. This is really lovely. All right, all right, all right. That's that's going to be one part of the machine. We can even pull this one in because the only thing that's missing over here is the biomass. So we can actually pull you in like all the way over there. And the biomass is just coming in from the sides of here. Ah. <laughs> and then, of course, the most important part. Let's pull it back out a bit. Wait a minute. Let's actually do this one again there. Oh. Let's not do that like that. Oh. There, there's no... Delete. That's a bit annoying. If you do that with Control z you lose the power pulse over here. I like, like how they... The, the, the pattern in them. There we go. Good, good, good. Yeah, we still need to think about the output over there. Um, that will be fine. We just move this one up as far as we can. Like all the way over there. Okay, a little bit further down. Same for you. I think over here is fine. Yes. And then we have all the space over here for the output. For, for the Bakelite output. Good. Zinc chloride is already done, biomass is done, and then the only thing that's missing is the full mile hood. All right, so let's maybe think about the output real quick. And for the output, same thing. I mean, if things are coming in from over there, then they should be going out the other way. So we are going to get you, 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 and you. It all goes on to the same belt. All somewhere over here. There we go. With the exception of you, you're going to be... Direct that put. There we go. Good. And now we can put this thing back together. Something like this. This will be fine. There we go. Good. Oh, that looks fine. That looks very fine. I love it. Got to disassemble your keyboard on the weekends to re uh, loop the tabs. The tabs. <laughs> Keys become sticky. Yeah, I've, I've kind of noticed with my Keychron that some of the switches in there, they're just bad. I'm not quite sure what they've installed in there, but but some of the switches are just absolutely terrible. Like, I got this one control key, which I already switched the switch with another key. I don't really use it often, or actually I don't use it at all. And that fixed that, but my 8 key also double taps. Like, when I press the number 8, it most likely will give me, like, a double tap, which is, like, super annoying. But at least I can take out the switch entirely and replace it with another switch. But it's it's still kind of annoying that that happens. But at least I can fix it all, which is worth everything. You are like 5% over when you get switches? Yeah. I would probably have to like just... just I mean, yeah, I would probably also have to order these switches again. I mean, I ordered them with switches installed and I think that might have been the issue. Because, I mean, if you're if you're like in a factory putting switches and keywords all day, you're probably going to get bored and you're probably not going to be paying enough attention. <laughs> so I get that. I get that. Your left mouse button double taps. It's a pain. Oof. 
All right. And last thing we need to do over here is to make the formaldehyde machine. The formaldehyde machine will be a bit bigger. Uh, it's probably going to be meant to be consuming like a full yellow belt of molybdenum. That's how much we're going to be scaling this thing up. So we need oxygen for that and methane gas for that. That's where we start off with the methane gas. The methane gas, four of these make 300 and we need some BTX. Okay. And for the formaldehyde, if we are going to, we need 150. That's the amount of methane gas we need. So four of these make 300, so we need two of these. So two of these and 20 of these. All right. Now, of course, this is a fluid side battery reactor. It's probably the most annoying building in Pyanodons because inputs and outputs are like everywhere. We're going to be making or targeting, what is that? Mm, that's 500 for Meldehyde per second. So we should put that out into two pipes. So we're going to have a build on top and a build on the bottom. So that will mean we get oxygen in at the bottom, for example. And we push out the formaldehyde at the top. And then we can get our other gas in either over here. Let's do it over here. There we go. There we go. At least we... Oh, we also do need ore. Never mind. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. But that will be fine because this is four. That is six. That is eight. And we take the whole thing, we flip it on its head, and then we place that thing over. Wait a minute, that is a distance of two, that is a distance of three. Excellent, and in the middle goes the belt of molybdenum ore. Here we go, here we go, and then we go in, in, in. At least it's mostly just liquid processing, so we don't need to worry too much about stuff. We do need to worry about belt speeds or pipe speeds and stuff like that, but that should be fine in this one. If you've got a popular mouse, you can get replacement boards with replacement switches. Um, yeah, that's true. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, good. All right. And then the oxygen. We need 250 oxygen per second. 250 oxygen per second. That is going to be 25 electrolyzers blowing oxygen. Is there any better way of making oxygen? Pressurized air is one. Um, this is a third recipe. This is not really that useful. Neither is this. Probably particle accelerating, but that is like horrendously expensive in terms of power. Then it would rather be uh, electrolyzing. All right, all right. 25 electrolyzers. What the hell, man? <laughs> One. Blowing gas. Uh, 25 of these. 10 of these require their own water pump. Okay, okay. I think we already have a template for this somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. But it's just going to be this. Two, three, four, five. Ten. Water pump at the end. At least the water pump is the same size. There we go. Good. Did you make a big oxygen provider for two or three streams ago? Um, yes. No, maybe. We got this thing over here. This is the centralized oxygen making machine for the smeltery. And the hydrogen that we're making over here, we're also using over here for the ammonia production over there. Um, we could tap into that one. But the oxygen is more or less already reserved for smeltering purposes. We could, of course, keep in mind that we have, like, extra hydrogen going around. And maybe, maybe we can do the same thing over here as with this one over here uh, with something else. And, yeah, I could I could technically... Actually, Simrock, that's a very good idea. Thank you so much for the lovely follow, mate. Let's just take this thing together with... The bottom part over there. And then just clean it up a bit. Because this is technically already pretty good. And we got the logic over here. So take out all of this. Take out basically everything that's not required in here. 
like even all of this. This is not required. And then we just keep this thing over here. Which we can move in a little bit more. Uh, yeah, just like that. Boop. Uh, we, we also have it on trains, but if, if we do it like this, then at least we have like a hydrogen pump or a hydrogen output over here, which we can tap into once we need to. Like if we have something nearby that needs hydrogen, we can just tap into this and we can just keep making hydrogen. And this thing over here will keep on working without us having to worry about it too much. There we go, because the logic over here will still be the same. There we go, there we go. And then we are making a bit more than we need, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just have this massive clunker over here. I mean, there will probably be something else nearby in the future that requires oxygen or hydrogen. Um, maybe even this one over there. Uh, or for the hydrogen. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Actually, if you think about it, if we're now already making it like this size, we could go a bit bigger over here, because this over here is 40 of them. And what do we need? We need like 25 of them. So we could add. Just make a bit more. Tiny bit more. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. I mean, this now makes 500. That's nah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, the other thing we could do is just maybe cut it... Slice it this way. Um, we need 25. So we could cut it over here. And then move you in. There we go. There we go. Good. And then it fits. Might keep it overscaled so you can tap other stuff in. Also true. Also true. Both options are fine, but then again, I don't really know what else we're going to be building next to this one. That's the other issue. <laughs> That's the whole issue. There might never be anything next to it, but then again, does it really matter? Actually, no, it does not. Also, let's get... The green cable out of there. Just leave empty space. We could also just leave empty space. That's also true. Yeah, that's very true. Like, instead of cutting it all up, we could just go like here. You know what? Just do this. And if we... <laughs> Basically, how you would do it on the main board. Like, sometimes you see, like, on your main board that there's, like, a place for a chip. Where there's no chip, because the people were like, Nah, you don't need this chip. You're not getting it. So, we can just add machines over here if we want to. So, this machine is now the size for this one. And if we do want to add more to it, we can add more to it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Good, 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 good. And then we just place you next to it somewhere. Doesn't really matter. Mm. And then we only have to figure out which one of these is the oxygen one. Okay, the bottom one. So we put you actually on the bottom. Move the solving up a bit. And give it accepted that they can call the week done. <laughs> All right, Spectre, the next idea you're coming up with, we're never going to do that. We're going to say, like, no, that's the most stupid idea ever. Uh, we're definitely not going to be breathing anymore because breathing is for losers. Only, only, only winners don't breathe. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> there we go. And just do something like this. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we still need to do the methane, by the way. And the methane is two of these. Pump, pump. <laughs> Somewhere over here. Uh, BTX and steam. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, we got the methane pipe. I, I think I lost half of my methane pipe over here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is there some pipes over there I forgot? Probably. Um, yeah, just, just give it a little bit of space. Something like this. Something like that. We only need two of these. Metan, metan. BTX in the middle over there. 
As for the steam, how much steam do we need? This thing over here does require about 125, 112.5, 112.5 steam per second. Um, we can do the same over here. I mean, at, at some point in time, we do need, how to put it, uh, we would need more steam engines over here. Also, don't, don't play some ghost. So this is 100, this is 150. Technically, in the future, we would need this amount of steam. Just for you, and the same amount of steam just for you. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to leave some space. And maybe make this in a little bit more... It's kind of hard to see. There you go. <laughs> and then leave these out. Leave these out. I'm actually going to place you over there. Leave some space for the future. So that we can add the steam engines we need once. It's fine. <laughs> Almost Friday, so he'll notice. Wait, did I forget something? It should be fine. It should be fine. All right. Oh, not like that. You go like this. You go like that. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, that's also a whole bunch of water we need. For now, these will be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, four of these needs 450. One of these needs 112.5. That's 50. That's 60. And that's one Duton. Hello there, Duton. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the lovely raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Guys, we got raided by Duton. Duton, tell us all about us. Let's, let's give you a big shout out. So long as you never place a manual pipe there. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's, that's very true. We have to be very careful about that one. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> it definitely is Friday. Oh. The annoying part in, in Pi is why can't you mirror machines? It should work. It could probably work, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to flip you on your side. Here, just do this. <laughs> Much easier. Like, like, way easier. But the ton. Again, hello there. Please, do tell us all about what have you been up to in Factorio? Tell everybody in chat. And guys, if you want to see more Factorio, do check out Uton because he is doing... Uton, come on. Where is it? <laughs> Play Pyanodon's Death World. Oh god, one of those. <laughs> I remember Vizations doing that in the past. And, well, he was busy. He was busy. I mean, uh, we also do have biters on. Uh, our biters are very low on settings. And it's already more than enough because we don't even want to spend resources on walls or anything. Uh, we're more or less just keeping our pollution in check. And by keeping our pollution in check, we are fighting uh, our biters. But if you're truly playing Pyandons on the Death World, in Death World, Death World settings, then... Whew. How, how many hours are you in? <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Um, let's move, let's juggle this one up by one. And juggle you up by one. And juggle you... Down by one, and you down by one. Good, 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 good. But guys, if you really want to see somebody play, um... Pyanodons in the Death World, well, you found the person to look for. Get over there and leave him a follow. We're about 20 hours in. Vanilla default settings with the exception of expansion and 133% uh, starting area. Okay. So, do you know about gunpowder? <laughs> <laughs> and have you found lead yet? <laughs> or are you just punching biters? I also do hope that you know about... Did you turn off Evolution Over Time? Because you should turn off Evolution Over Time if you are doing that. Because if you don't turn off Evolution Over Time, you're going to be fighting big biters before you can even think about what's going to be fun or not. Uh, 
<laughs> the entire magazine industry is based on Zoot right now. Well, that works. That's true. Zoot will work. Yeah, I mean, we are just recently getting into big biters, but ammo wise, we are still like. I mean, we were doing 12.8 damage with our piercing rounds over here. So, big biters are basically laughing at us and dancing at us. Uh, I mean, rockets, rockets will work, but rockets will take some time to get to. Yeah, I mean, we're turning our zoot into gold. I mean, there we go. Let's turn it into gold! We said it just how to go forward, but we're probably going to be relying very heavily on Ash. Well, that's good. That's good. I mean, Ash, Ash does work. And, I mean, you, you can definitely live with biters if you keep a pollution in check. I mean, look at this outpost over here. It's probably not as wild as in the death world, but they're basically just living with the biters out here. As long as there's no pollution going out, um, these biters will be perfectly fine. Though we do have um, expansion on, which is also the reason why we have all these small micro nests over here, because they're slowly expanding their way over here. But yeah, as long as you keep pollution under control, you should be fine. And you get those sap extractors. These will probably be your biggest friend. You get them quite early. And you can take the sap, and you can turn it into biomass, and you can turn biomass into ash. So, there you go. More ash. <laughs> there we go. There we go. In the meantime, uh, we're making a small phenol factory. <laughs> Super heavy on quad moss farms to keep the pollution in check. Um, but uh, just waiting until they clock. Yeah, the, I mean, the thing about the thing about these sap extractors is... They already do like 45 pollution each, and they don't really make a lot of product. They make like one sap every 20 seconds. So that's not a lot you have to deal with. As for the moss machines, well, the moss machines are also not that fast. That is very true. Where are my moss machines? They're over here. And, okay, they do consume 560. That is a whole hacking load more. That is very, very true. Here we go. Here we go. But then again, you don't have to deal with the moss. <laughs> But having moss is very good. That is also very true. Also, don't, do moss restrictors not have like a somewhat high power demand? Okay, it's 100 kilowatts. Moss broken as well? Uh, I actually didn't check. Uh, maybe. What's going on over here? I think we're backed up on limestone. Yeah, we're backed up on limestone. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I already fixed it once. Uh, we have to fix it again. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do something with this limestone over here. I like anything. Free acetylene? Uh, well, if, I mean, combine it with coke. But then we get the slate lime back and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's, that's something for later. That is something for later. Let's focus on this thing real quick and make sure that this thing over here is done and ready. Also, we should definitely also put in the pipes over here. Perfect. So that we know that there is, like, something to be expanded over here in the future. Good. So that's extra space for extra borders if we get to the higher tier machines. Good. But that will make the methane. Uh, only thing that's missing over here is, like, an input of... I can come from over here, maybe. An input of Nexalit. Pom, pom, pom. And then that is done as well. Good. And that will make the formaldehyde, which we need over here for the Bakelite. And also the formaldehyde we're making over here, we will also be exporting that. So all in all, this is the machine that we're going to make. <coughs> also, Duton, I, I do hope that you are going to be enjoying digging through seas and seas of biters, because your base will be big at some point in time. Are we getting PTX in the bottom machine? Ah, oh, that's, that's the trick. We don't. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, that works. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yeah, it's getting late. Of course, there will be errors. Here we go. Good, good, good. Oof. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, the Yoto Leaf Machine. Uh, the Yoto Leaf Machine, I will definitely be making on the site because it's, it's nothing that spectacular. The only thing we need to do over here is... Well, actually, we don't. We can just place you right next to this one. Keep you, like, on this height or something like that. 
It, it really doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. No, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Good. And then you go this way. And you go... Wait a minute. From all the heights over there. That's one too high. There we go. Over here and over there. Done. Da dun 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 dun. Good. And Jan, just add water or something like that. Perfect. All right. We have to find a place for this thing to live. This thing does not really need to be anywhere close. We can definitely bring the Bakelite in via a long train over time. Um, let's make this a blueprint first. Here we go. Put you into there. Five. Bake light per second. Five bake lights per second. That, yeah, perfect, perfect. Then turn into the signals. Put them over there. The cake is a lie. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that's one per second. Then, of course, uh, donuts are good for cardio. That's actually not a lie. That's actually correct. <laughs> Uh, then, um, uh, <laughs> damn. Megatron, help me out. <laughs> Megatron, is the cake a lie? Here we go. Is it also, it, oh shit, he's still in Japanese mode, isn't he? He is still in Japanese mode. Well, oh, he crashed. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the API key is invalid because I, I, I wiped that one. That is very true. So that's correct. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. All right, these two are in. Uh, how many items are this? This is actually not that many items. I'm pretty sure they will all fit into one of this one. I want the Megatron back. Uh, I mean, I can put in the new API key real quick. I just need to copy it over. Copy. And then, I mean, we should at least say goodbye to him at the end of the day. Uh, pom, 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 Where are my keys? My keys over there. Level maps key. There we go. Out you go. You key in. Loads of new key. All right, all right. Yeah, let's, let's, let's turn Japanese mode off real quick. <laughs> uh, all right, any other language? Mm. Yeah. There we go. Something like this. Something like that. Bavarian? Ah, uh, I don't think he knows how to do Bavarian. Hmm. Esperanto is always a good one, but Esperanto. Can, 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 which language is that one again? Now nah, let's maybe keep it in English for now. Uh, I'm just going to switch up his personality real quick. Um... It's fabricated lang uh, language? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, all right, I put some random stuff in there. Good, 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 good. In the meantime, uh, set the request over there. Uh, the... No, actually, that will not fit. That will not fit. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I realize that will not fit. You know what we just could do? It will probably fit if we just... No. Um... You over here. You over here. Red wire. Green wire. Uh, you just skip the belt and the pipe and the underground and you... And you skip... Wait, blah. 
It's getting late. Wait. So you're skipping, yeah. You skip everything but belt and pipe. So pom 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 pom. And all of these are gone. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Set requests. Set requests. There we go. Alright. Um, but it's also kind of getting late, and I have to uh, kind of bit <laughs> Maybe playing um Stellaris until 6 a.m. was not the best choice. <laughs> So let's call it over here, or at least start to call it over here. We should definitely say at least goodbye to Megatron, so I need some kind of topic. Who wants to ask Megatron a stupid question? Come on. Yep. But you go to sleep at 6 a.m. to 16 p.m. Wait, what? <laughs> to 16 p.m.? All right, it's a cake is lie. Uh, Megatron, do you know if perhaps the cake is a lie? And let's see what he answers. Coffee or tea for Decepticons? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to come up with something. I did save the file, so... Let's see what he comes up with. But yeah, there will be more of Megatron. Starscream, you imbecile! <laughs> The cake is not a lie. It's a fabrication created by those insignificant humans. If you waste any more time pondering such foolishness, I'll have you scrubbing dirt off the underbelly of the Groundbusters' cat. <laughs> now focus on our glorious conquest and stop questioning the obvious. <laughs> I'm also kind of thinking about of just like feeding in always like the last five lines of Twitch chat or something like that. <laughs> to just increase the chaos. I have, I have no clue how he came up with that. I have, I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> and he has a bot that reacts to chat keywords and you can add the bot. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not too hard to do. I mean, you can just take some... some. I mean, there, there's already like a Twitch chat bot for it written in Python, which you just hook into. And then you just like like stream the messages and stuff like that. So that should be fine. It's just RSC, yeah. Exactly. You just take like any basic Python IRC bot and you're basically already done. Good, 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 good. Perfect. But I have to admit, I'm getting kind of tired. I'm also getting kind of hungry. I have not eaten anything today yet. So I need to do that as well. Uh, which is probably also the reason why I'm getting tired. But uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff done. We got the aluminum place now up and running. Finally, we got a whole bunch of new extra mines in place, which is going to be very important. Stone should be churning again. Um... We got a little bit extra of landfill, but most importantly, filtration media is being made like permanently again, which is very important because filtration media was the one thing that was, yeah, that's basically eating all our stone at the moment, which is fine. It can eat all our stone. I don't really care too much about that, but filtration media I do care about because filtration media is what goes into the fish. And the fish are not working at the moment because of other reasons. Oh, you're backed up. We're backed up on fish food, or partially backed up on fish food again. And the reason for that is because the Xyphos over here are not being uh, working operate uh, working uh, optimally yet, because we are backed up on shells. Uh, we could probably just just store and buffer some more shells for now. That will probably help us out for for a bit. But we have already set up a big shell crusher over here. Uh, which will take care of the lime for us. And once this thing over here starts crushing the shells, then we don't have any issue anymore. And then we also need to do less of this. Even more acetylene. We could just turn into the acetylene, but then we get... Uh, keep in mind, if we turn that... Uh, I mean, we get slaked lime out of that. And I do want to recycle or do something with the slaked lime. So we end up with more sodium hydroxide like we do over here. Uh, and we are kind of backed up on sodium hydroxide, which is also the reason why we should make that build we have right now. Only thing we should probably do right now is maybe find a nice spot for this build. We could make it right over here. You know what? Over here is perfect, I think. 
Like somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over here. Leave some space for stations and stuff like that. Or maybe place stations down here. Yeah, let's build this thing right over here. We could even build it over here in the corner. And put some stations maybe on top. Maybe some on the bottom. Maybe on the left. Maybe on the right. And then it's going to be close by. Uh, where we're going to be making the circuits. But not too far off. Like not over here in the corner or something like that. There we go. Could you shit pint the slate line? Shit pond. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Good, 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 good. I mean, Slake Lime, at some point in time, we're going to be uh, asking for all the Slake Lime. So it, it will just turn around again on us at some point in time. I mean, we are already importing Slake Lime over here. Where we use the excess Slake Lime to just make more seaweed over here. But we're also still making Slake Lime on site. Good, 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 good. Perfect. But to be perfectly honest, like I said, I'm tired. And when one is tired, one should stop. And then the big question is, who are we going to raid? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mm. Let's see. Uh, definitely not raiding anybody who's playing Assassin's Creed because, well, no. Not that game. What is he doing? Put your mute. Here we go. There's this lovely lad I've been having a fun time on the Twitch Discord with. Let's give him a raid. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> because he's a fun lad. He's actually a fun lad. <laughs> We're going over to Norbro. He's playing some horror games because it is October. And when it is October, you have all to play some horror games. Of course, our horror game over here is going to be Pyanodons. Because it is very, very horrifying. Especially in the things we need to do. Nevertheless, thank you so much for all the lovely follows today. Thank you so much for the lovely rates to Ton. Thank you so much for the resub. Big Clown and the resubs from Nagapito. Big Clown at 24, Nagapito at 22 months. Then Fernie resubscribed 39 months. Salindro with Prime, 16 months in a row. Thank you so much for that. We had a hype train. We had a hype train. <laughs> I think I completely ignored the hype train. Gertie, we resubscribed as well. Thank you so much for that, Gertie. Uh, Caladorn, resubscribed 29 months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then also all the lovely follows. Baldur's Rage tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're not going to do Mega Bellum because I kind of want to get done with Baldur's Gate as well. I kind of want to get it done soon. Don't really want to drop it, but yeah, it's... it's, it's how to put it? Um, I kind of want to, to get an end to, an end to it. So I'm hopefully... I don't think we can finish it tomorrow. But I do hopefully that we can get some stuff done tomorrow in Baldur's Gate. Nevertheless, you can already hear me rambling. That means I'm getting super duper tired, which is absolutely correct. I also have not even put on the stop screen yet. So off we go. Have a good one. Have a good night. And see you soon. See you tomorrow, Baldur's Gate. Good night.